Welcome back, everyone, to this, the penultimate episode of Spaceport. That's right, next week will be the finale. But for now, let's step back into the fiction. Allow me to recap quickly what it is we did last week. Last week, we resolved the King of the Road's illness as our gang picked up, having been rejoined by our motorcycle astride hero. Um, and they took to feet uh, and fleet as they made it to the bottom of the first tree, where there they did battle and supported Rhododendron, an elderly and last druid of the forest, in ritual to cleanse the place of the corruption that had found its way there. In an incredible Greece-based battle, um, Bears, Brutes, and Battlestar Galactica was pushed back, uh, ultimately, um, and we saved the forest and the King of the Road, who uh, sped everyone along to their ultimate goal of an ancient tech site. But as we were resting up after the battle, we had some interesting developments. It turns out that, according to Hugh, who was very convincing, Gilroth Rolodex's bell can speak to ghosts, which was provided to a band of brigands, which surprised our heroes overnight. In fact, it turns out that they killed kind of the messenger boy of a larger criminal enterprise, um, and have found themselves getting into the good graces through the power of lying and deception, which I'm all about. Speaking of lying and deception, Rhododendron believes that this gang is the one that has egregiously wronged him, and I cannot wait to see how this turns out. We traveled along the road again, motorcycle and crab as we do. We made it to the ancient tech site where supposedly the goblin inventor um, has pieced together a way to get to the moon. Um, and in this case, a mysterious riddle was placed on the door and our resident brainiac, Valar, of course, the only person who could maybe read, um, was able to decipher the riddle and break into this facility. The facility gave way to clearly an elevated level of technology where I would like to pick back up with what I said to you last time when you asked me about divine sense. You get a bit of jazz in this dark place and feel like something is off. To remind you about what you see, um, and we can go straight to Al there, actually, if you guys are all there, but to remind you about what you see, this kind of long, dark corridor, as you guys are kind of wandering down these flush stairs, you have a book in front of you as well as a torch. The book has clearly been dropped in a hurry. Once you guys make it to this landing, the lights of the facility come on, and I would say weekly. Um, those are actually represented here on the map. Um, so it is pretty dark, except for kind of these like overhanging spotlights. But now you can see what it is we're actually working with. It's some kind of dock or facility of some kind here on the cliffside. Um, Valar, you feel an air of unhallowed presence, that there's something uh, divinely wrong with this place that you are here. Um, it is making you feel uneasy, and I will give it back to you. So I've just divine sensed, um, and then I think it would be pretty obvious to you guys that Valar is upset. Like, I think I would almost like step back. Um, I don't really get shaken, but he's like pretty upset, and I'm just gonna be like, uh, guard yourself. Oh, <laughs> from <laughs> what? I don't know. He speaks. Thanks, He's speaking a lot. This is <laughs> bad <laughs> news for us boys. I was two words back to back. Real chatty Kathy today. I can, I can see everything. You guys know I can see in the dark, right? Well, I can't too, but I wasn't bragging about it. But <laughs> I'd, like to do a, I'd like to do a medicine check on Valar. I don't think he's feeling well. Okay. What do you actually do? Do you take his temperature? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and like, Rick you know, like a mom comes over and like, like puts the, like the back of their hand on like the forehead. Yon is fucking helmet. Dee Dee, and this helmet Dee Dee is definitely here with you guys, and she's like, oh, honey, I was about to do that. <laughs> Step back. <laughs> oh, okay. So Sorry. we don't know what kind of vile thing might have taken over. Wow. That's Unnatural 20. Mm. Are you ill? Uh, you can tell that I'm sweating a little bit. Oh, Jesus Christ, it sweats. <laughs> <laughs> It, it sweats. <laughs> the camaraderie is amazing. I, I have no idea what, I mean, I don't know anything about this individual. Good He's point. just a very tall, you know, short, you know, man of few words. Fair enough. Potentially. Um, I'm going to take out a handkerchief and I'm going to start patting him down. His helmet. Tell, tell us what's going on here, big guy. Why, why are you so scared? I don't know why I'm Canadian now. <laughs> but just tell us anyway. Give me a perception check. Me? Yes, oh, okay. you uniquely. Give your fucking your balls a tug, Valar. Hey, hey, bud. Uh, Nineteen. Oh, perfect. Nice. You, after having a moment of stepping back, getting some perspective, and the medical attention that was so wonderfully needed, you realize that there are wrong and bad feelings, right? There's definitely some desecrated ground. Something is off. But in the immediate area around the book in front of you, 
it feels safe. Okay. Um, so you asked what, what was wrong? Yeah, what's going on here, big guy? Let's say, uh, I'm going to say again, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but this place is unsafe. <laughs> and would you say this exact spot around this book that we're near is unsafe or more like everything else? <laughs> I have a quill and a journal. Um, no, it's just a, a blank stare. Back. Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess uh, Laura will walk up and pick up the book. Okay. And inspect it. How would you say Valar's reading comprehension level was? <laughs> um, well, let's see. I don't know exactly because my intelligence is actually uh, nine. You're... But I feel like I someone has to be able to read <laughs> in this room. Yeah. A lot of times, though, reading is just about confidence. Okay, that's yeah, charisma. I, we have a robot. Yeah, I, 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 I would say yeah, it's a, I would I'm say it's on an average being's level. Okay, um, you pick up this book. And it's you, you flip through, and it's clear that whoever put this together was insane. You're seeing writing in different directions, calculations that make no sense. And on one page, there's just a recipe for like human foot, and it's just like odd. Um, there is nothing innate about it that gives you like an understanding of why this book in particular might feel safe, but you do feel better holding it. May I Arcana check the book? Sure. Well, uh, 13. <laughs> mm. oh. <laughs> Without any assistance, you don't get more than this, but it does feel like there is something innately magical about what you're inspecting. You're just not quite sure. Okay. The, book, the book's definitely magical. It's something special about it compared to everything else here. Hmm. I'm tired of this hocus pocus, so I'm gonna start marching forward a little bit. I was gonna say I can't read or do magic. So. <laughs> can anyone else see in the dark like us? Okay, I, I believe I can see in the dark. So I move, perfect. Here. I move past the staircase over here to the left. Hemp, give me an intelligence check with proficiency. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, that is unnatural twenty. Perfect. Um, you are flipping through the pages as Hugh is moving forward. I also want to follow Hugh. Yeah, okay. You guys, <laughs> you guys are advancing. Hugh, when you kind of step out of this area, directly in front of you, there is kind of a moment where it feels like uh, something scurrying on the floor. And as you're like keenly aware of basically quick movements, right? You're a trained assassin, you're a contract killer, you're ready for danger. You've never experienced this before where the movement is coming from below you and your own shadow travels forward, turns two-dimensionally upwards towards you, and you see the face of Hugh Fructose, as he says, your mother, and tries to stab you. I don't let's, trust anyone, not even myself. So let's I'm roll it. <laughs> I knew my shadow would betray me one day. Would you say roll it? Please. Unless you guys want to talk to Hugh's shadow. Wow, this is a really cool one to disguise a water temple, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, true. That would be the case if there was one shadow. 21, finally. Oh, he did it! I finally got a good roll. All it takes is mortal danger. You won't <laughs> believe it. The shiny man streaks and you got a good roll. <laughs> 21. Oh! 21. Sick. I got, a, I got a 20. All right. I got a 15. <laughs> Chase walked Keep her coming. out of the room. I got a 9. Ah, uh, well, we can't all be 21. I got, I got a roll. I got a 10. Wow. Yeah, I got a 5. But what's, what, hey, but what's 9 plus 10? At least that's one of those things that sticks out. <laughs> 9 plus 10 is 21. That's my boy. You heard it here first, baby. 9 plus 10 is 21. That's D&D math. All right. Well, folks, Hugh, you are definitely up first. And Shark, you guys can work together on your turns. And I will allow you to do this, but unfortunately, player two is entering the game. Hugh, you were the first one to see because you have walked forward. Mm -hmm. All the way at the very end there, a figure kind of rises out of what appears to be a crane kind of entrance, way at the end. He's it's silhouetted against the back. It's hard to tell exactly what he's made of or what his features are. He's very amorphous. But you hear loudly, you must not meet him. As this figure, like a cartoon villain, throws a, a lever and all the lights go up. Now, granted, you guys can see in the dark, so you're not unhindered by this. But immediately, I think maximum gives off light. So those of you around Valar are within some kind of light, at least, um, but something to consider. Hugh, it is your turn. All right. 
I'm gonna ready my holy hand poker here, <laughs> and I'm gonna tell the group, I will save us from this heathen of sin. He's a bad man, this shadow of mine. He's made me do everything wrong in my life, and it's time I <laughs> get him out of here. Every episode, I think we get closer to you actually just being Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for that reveal. So are you telling us that this shadow person inside mm. of you is like been all like the cause of all your wrongdoing? Yep. So if this shadow dies, you're not going to want to kill anymore. Nope. <laughs> I don't think we should kill the shadow. I think I, think I, think I don't believe you. It. I think you should make us roll. For, you, you should roll for this. Well, he has to convince, this is how this item works. Uh, he has to oh, convince the you, the right. players, is what he's doing. This is a plea for a righteous cause. Yep. So show thumbs up or thumbs down. Has he convinced you that he is fighting for a righteous cause? Um, I think you could have just said self-defense. I'm going <laughs> to <laughs> True. It's <laughs> one like he attacks you first. <laughs> so it's really in our, our best interest to begrudgingly agree with him. <laughs> but think so, of the comedy. So, so I'm going to ask him to show it again. He threatened me, and uh, it's, I feel I feel threatened. Oh. <laughs> so this is, this is, like, this this is, is for this good. This is a standard, <laughs> standard ground asteroid for sure. Yeah, castle doctrine moment. <laughs> 100%. So, so I heard some about two, not killing three? again. Is that yeah. true? No, that was the shadow talking. Four. All right. I don't believe it, but you can take him out, I guess. All right. Unanimous. All right. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ready that, and then I'm going to... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stewie, what was that? <laughs> One before I you, in you Hugh. Before, <laughs> <laughs> Maximo shines light in like a torch, correct? Yeah, like a glowy orb. Okay, oh, you mean like in game, like a torch? Yes, orb? I, I, I think that's what we agreed to. Okay, sure. Okay, you are just barely on the range of Maximo's light, and though you can see, the shadow appears to have difficulty standing in this range mm -hmm. of light. So yes, please continue your attack. Well, it was a one, so there's not much of an well, attack. Well, that is unfortunate, sir. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> I think, have you ever thought about stab? Like, I'm sure you've thought you've trained for all kinds of assassination missions, but the one you definitely didn't think of was having to assassinate yourself. Um, and this is just a strange moment for you. Um, do you, what is your, what is Hugh's greatest fear? Because you have this juxtaposition of you're the greatest assassin in the multiverse, and you're trying to end yourself. So you go, I think you go to shape it for the thing you know will take you out. What is it? It's just a, a longer hand than I usually <laughs> use. <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna need a bigger gun. <laughs> <laughs> Does your other hand get smaller? No, it's a, like just kind of make it like a couple inches more than you've seen. That's so what far. It, it just takes too long. You're like, you're about to go for it, and you're like, that's not gonna be <laughs> It's like you just see him there just powering up Dragon Ball Z style. He's actually afraid of his own hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and your shadow kind of mimics and says, that won't be enough. Um, anything else? You, I think you have a second attack. Yeah, so since I didn't hit with my righteous moment of glory, is that gone for? No. Um, or is we, it only when it lands? So we said it kind of empowers a weapon. In your case, you are the weapon for a fight. Um, so okay. you've got it for this battle. Okay, then yeah, my bonus action, I'm just gonna get him with my little short, my dagger here then. Good luck. Maybe. Okay, that Ooh. 23. Oh, that'll do it. So then that's a, which one is that? Three, seven. Okay. Um, what is your, it's dagger, yeah? Yeah, so my huge hand, you just saw me kind of flop it down, but then I got my little one, it's like. It was a distraction. Um, you over razzle dazzle. <laughs> yeah. I tell him, look up here. <laughs> your shadow knows the most dangerous hand is the primary one, and, it, and it's getting ready to, oh, I see ya, I see ya, and that's why it doesn't see that coming from beneath. As you hit him with the signature, bye bye, and uh, he takes, <laughs> rolling some damage. It was seven. Seven, for both the radiant and the? Oh, I didn't do the Radiant. 1d6 Radiant, my man. That's right. They're shadows. I don't really like them. Okay, it was one, so eight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm, cru I'm cruising on these ones. Hey, I mean, it is. it definitely kind of recoils. You can see it like kind of burn away where the Radiant damage has impacted it. Um, and it doesn't like that. But uh, you see the shadow follow suit. It makes its other arm bigger and its other arm smaller um, and kind of has a wide grin um, as it goes to ready for its own attack. Anything else? Uh, that was my bonus action for that, so I'm out. Okay. Shark, you're up. I'm kind of like looking around. I don't I don't have a shadow coming up from me. I don't think you see right now. You're okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna run around and I'm gonna Well, try. Shark. What? Guess what? Ah, fuck! 
from right behind you. <laughs> oh! Your own shadow. So I should have seen this coming, but I have an intelligence of zero. You hear, you hear a whisper. You'll never win that last one. Mm, fucking bitch. <laughs> oh, man. No, no, I'm really fucking mad, so I'm raging. Um, who would have seen it coming? And then I'm going to <laughs> recklessly swing my axe out. Hold on. Okay. You are in the darkness now, which would give you disadvantage, the shadows domain. However, if you say reckless, then we'll go with the, only the one dice in that case, because they would cancel out. Which Even I think with means my dark vision? Mm, that's not exactly what's happening here. Uh, so so you, I'm in their land. Exactly. I see. So you, you actually, that probably even confuses you or, or like gives you a second to think, like I'm sure I should be able to fight like this, but there's something different about when the gotcha. ax goes through, it almost like fades into the background. That makes sense. Guys, I wouldn't suggest stepping into the shadows without some light. <laughs> um, if anybody has torches, you should try those. Um, all right, I'm going to swing. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> it's a, it's an eight. No, I think, honestly, you just know that you are a formidable opponent and that is not something you're used to, which is a creature surviving more than one ax attack. Uh, and it has given you pause, just like him as well. Are you uh, allowed to move after you've attacked or no? Um, now, let me ask a follow-up question. Mm -hmm. Are you familiar with attacks of opportunity? I sure am. I'm going to sit right here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else? I was testing you. Ah, thank you. You've almost got me this day. Good? Yep. I hope a little better next time. For it. So... Got some big shadow boys mm -hmm. doing shadow shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna cast. Mm, no. Mm. Please hold. Let me just think about this for one second. Does um, I'm not trying to take your action away. Yes, but of course. Does Foray pause for a moment to think? Oh my! What am I? What do I do here? Yeah, shadow shit, we don't, we don't like that. I think while you're thinking from your right, you appear outside of the you range so of bitch. the light and say, you know she's waiting for you. <laughs> God damn it, I'm just gonna whack him immediately. He's, he's kind of outside the light. You'd have to leave the light to get him. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave the light. Really? I'm gonna leave the light, dude. Okay. That's not what I wanna hear right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on vacation. Okay, vacation. fair enough. We're gonna attack with disadvantage. I missed. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm gonna move you. Well, I'm, I'm, I was about to move. Don't worry. All right. All right. Uh, you're in luck. I hit a, a six. Okay. Uh, I, same deal as what he's experiencing. Is um, that good, by the way? Movement. Uh, is that good? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Same deal as what he's experiencing. There's just something about being here in the raw darkness that feels like they are acting in ways that are unbelievably fast. Um, and so you go, to, and it just goes, fades into the background before you can make contact. He's like me, but, but athletic. <laughs> and younger and more handsome. You son of a bitch. I legitimately almost said exactly that line. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to. Do you want me to just pass his insults to you? No, no, okay. it's fine. <laughs> All right. You handle them. Oh, sorry, I should have said, and younger and more handsome. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No. You just wow. sound more rich, Richard Nixon than I do. <laughs> okay, sorry, I was going for more Mitch Money Penny. But if you're done, the character at the very end of this uh, facility kind of, um, he threw the lever and you guys see like a brief kind of flash of light as like you hear like the sound of like metal kind of being jarred and broken. Um, and then it gets dark once again over there. Hem, you are up. No. Now, Hem, something feels powerful within the book. If you make an arcana check, you could discern, discern the secret of it. Let me do a quick arcana check. Not one, so no. Ooh. Maybe next turn, maybe next turn. Maybe next turn, maybe next turn. Our book explodes. Um, no. Actually, no, actually, I think it gets hot. Uh, and um, it kind of shakes like a, an enchanted book and kind of scatters at the feet of Seven and uh, Stewie. Oh. Well, the book. I guess didn't like us very much, but <laughs> we'll get him next time. Just pick him back up, he'll be okay. 
Um, hey, Hugh, how hard did it hurt you when you hit that guy? <laughs> no, I didn't feel a thing. You didn't hurt you when you hurt you? Nope. <laughs> okay. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. God, All right. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll over here to the edge of the light, but stay in the light. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cast Burning Hands directly at oh, this me. That's actually perfect, because if I turn <laughs> a little bit, if I go like right behind Hugh, kind of hide behind him, I can hit all three of the shadows, and then I can use... Uh, I'm gonna use, uh, what's it called? Sculpt spells to keep Hugh and Shark safe from the spell. Five sounds great. Mm -hmm. So I use Burning Hands and the three of them have to make, I believe it's a dexterity saving throw. He's not moving. He isn't saying anything. You know what's interesting? What's interesting? <laughs> Your shadow speaks up. I went to wizard school. <laughs> Dumb bitch, we don't need that. <laughs> and he counters your spell. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Get right Damn it! Here. He remembers level three spells. <laughs> <laughs> you hear a you hear a chuckle from like the crane. He goes, "Fuck! Don't make me laugh." The guy at the crane. Yeah. Now He's, what? He can talk over there. Does it? <laughs> wait. So does that like stop it for all the whole cone, or just take? He doesn't take damage. This spell fails. Okay. Hmm. Damn. Son of a bitch. Damn. Our shadows are better than us. Let me think. No one's better than me. Like Not even me. <laughs> this is very paradoxical. I don't really have a... I'm like, all right, well, nuclear option. And I'm going to roll this, and I'm going to just grab into the back of my backpack and throw something in there. I haven't cooked up a potion in a while. Okay. I'm gonna what roll. do you grab? Uh, I grab... I feel like I have a little bit of Hugh's mom back left in there. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're really doubling that. Actually, yeah. I'll take a little bit of Hugh's mom. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can get some, like, moral points against, like, sure, the sure. shadow. And I rolled a 19. Ooh. What does it look like? So, you have done this before. Mm-hmm. Um, now, my question is, do you want the 19 result? Or would you like to go above or below? Let me keep 19. Hmm. Okay. Do you remember what happened last time? This is the first thing I ever rolled. Yeah, it is. So I'm not going to use it. Okay. But I'll hold on to it till my next turn. Okay. Um, I think I said it smelled uh, softly of lavender. Like, uh, yeah, like it's, uh, something that maybe even melatonin. Yeah, it could be. Like Actually, that. it could be that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Actually, just spits out like uh, an essential oil, like an, on just... the side, says melatonin gummy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like ashwagandha. It pops out. <laughs> All right, you have that. Mm -hmm. And I'll end my turn. All right. Well, well, well. Who has yet to be revealed? Hmm. From directly in front of you, seven, you emerge. Uh, kind of here, actually, at the edge of the light. You'll never tell a joke. And it kind of starts to do, like, vines to, like, try to trap you guys in here in the light. Um, they are uh, spreading out left and right of it for like a couple of squares. Right now, no action, but it's kind of, it seems like it's growing quickly. Um, then we have the, ah, yes. We have, I mean, this is a fine Stewie. This one says, perhaps if we were sober, we could save. <laughs> and then it kind of uh, points to like the bag Damn. of beans you have. Let's see, who else do we have? We've got, uh, I think then your two shadows just kind of laugh, uh, kind of this like chorus of dissenting voices. But after that, it is Seven's turn. Uh, well, I am going to cast Flaming Sphere mm. on, can I, I can only put it in one square, I assume. Mm -hmm, for now, but you can move it. Okay, uh, I will. I will slap it in, just right there. That's not orange, or that's not. Yeah, that's not orange. <laughs> Hello, pink fire. Why not? Just, just slap it right there. Okay. And that'll that'll probably be it for now. Okay, I believe it makes a save. Uh, yes, that is a dexterity saving throw. For DC. Sorry. Uh, 13. Oh, you're good. Uh, 13 does not succeed. So what does it do? 
it just I, I just put my hand out and sort of sparks start forming around my hand and then in that area sparks start forming and it just starts heating up the air and then it eventually just ignites into a, into a ball. Cool. And then it takes 2d6 fire damage? Yes. Um, and there's a flash of light um, as he creates his fire. Um, there's a moment where it almost feels like the fire is being oh, suffocated blind. a little bit by the darkness of this place. Um, but when it appears, uh, all of your shadows kind of recoil at the light suddenly appearing. That's uh, six damage. Okay. Um, you take six points of damage. Um, anything else? That'll be it. Okay. That will bring us to Stewie. So. Does my shadow self stay close to that fire then? Um, that fire is only big enough for one square, so it's not immediately in danger, and it's not currently its turn. So okay. it is right next to the fire, yes. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to use Hidden Step to turn invisible. Okay. Um, and I'm going to move kind of close. Well, like, use that right thing here. Move a little bit closer over here and towards myself. Um, and then I think I'm going to, I'm going to do Cloud of Daggers. So towards my shadow self and also sevens. Okay. I think it's a five foot square, right? Yes. It's a, a five feet on each side centered on a point. Oh, interesting. Five foot cube on each side. I think that's only one square then. Because okay. it would be five, 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 five. Okay. So it would either be you or him. Me. Okay. What do you say to yourself? Um, <laughs> I play a really sad song, like, I wish you weren't right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and it just takes damage, yeah? Yes, it takes um, 4d4 slashing. Oh, nice. So, three, eight, eight, uh, 12. Okay, um, it takes 12 points of slashing damage. Your kind of bone shards emerge from your instrument. Um, and kind of slash through the shadow that is you, um, they seem to work. And, and even though they're in the darkness, um, having kind of stood next to this fire, the, the bright, um, like burning flame, they do seem to, to be fully effective. Anything else? No, in my turn. All right, well that will bring us to the remaining shadows. Hmm, yet to be revealed, the Valar shadow kind of, let's see, I think over here on this side, um, kind of emerges like walking towards the edge of the campfire and looks directly at you. Mm. <laughs> but that's all it does. Uh, we have <laughs> the defense scathing words. <laughs> <laughs> Shark, um, the shadow next to you uh, is going to make an attack. Uh, and rolls horribly. Um, then the, let's see, I think the foray one is actually going to try and slink past you, foray, so you will get an attack opportunity. That is so kind of you. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you are in the dark, so there's a disadvantage. Ten. Ah, ten won't do it. Um, Wait, no, I'm sorry, eleven, actually. Eleven won't do it either. The motherfucker. <laughs> um, it kind of walks over to the flaming sphere, and is trying to like clearly like and swallow your magic, but nothing is having an effect currently. Um, that is the three shadows turn. We will go to Valar. Uh, I have a question on how Maximo's movement works. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> how he is Maximo separate from you. <laughs> <laughs> when, when can when does he get to move? Uh, on your turn. Okay. So, um, I am going to start my turn by casting light on my shield. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to walk myself right up. Uh, is he with you? Or are you leaving him there? I'm, I'm for the moment he's still there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> where you are right now yeah. is like very barely on the edge of the shadow. Yeah. Um, from Maximo's light. Yeah. Your shield has light on it. And as you walk forward towards the edge of Maximo's light, you realize that your light is not getting past that boundary. Darkness on the other side of Maximo's light is literally consuming the light. It stops like it's hitting a wall. Yikes, okay. Um, so follow-up question. 
Uh, since I haven't ever used light in combat before, is that an mm -hmm. action? I believe so. so. Okay, just double checking. So I'm going to have Maximo um, scoot up toward us a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, can I get like an indicator on his actual range? Yeah. So I, can... I think he has a, a slight fly speed, maybe like 10 feet. Let's find him a little icon. Um, he can be the eyeball. Uh, where do you want him to go? Uh, where it's like how far out from him is does his light go? Uh, let's say th four squares in pro in a plus or three squares diagonally. Okay. So where you are, where he is currently, would cover everyone but Stewie and Ferre. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let me, um. Who's only in the dark? Yeah. Well, her. no, you ran away, so that's your fault. Um, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I'm, I'm with her of all people, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll scoot Max. So where you have him is good. Okay. Um, and I'm going to cast as a bonus action Shield of Faith mm. on uh, Shark. Okay. That gives him, that gives you plus two AC. This is huge. Thank you, Papa. Mm. <laughs> You say that. And that's my turn. I say that, yeah. <laughs> okay. Hmm. The book that you had dropped is currently on the floor, let's say one square up from seven. So one and a half squares away from you, Hugh. Um, and it is like rattling on the ground violently. Um, and like light is kind of escaping the pages, but they are closed. Hugh, you are up. Do we know that this guy is at the other end of this facility? You saw him there. That's effectively his last position. Uh, and he very clearly turned the lights off. Okay. I'm going to do something a little wacky here then, I think. Uh-oh. I'm going to... I'm just going to Zerg rush his shit here, so I'm going to run through here. <laughs> okay. I'll, I'll trigger those attacks of opportunity. Now. <laughs> wow. I would like to remind you, you do have a cunning action. Yeah. One of which is disengage. Oh yeah, how does disengage work? You say, nanny nanny boo boo, you can't attack me, and you run. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll use my cunning action. And <laughs> I'll say, see you later, me. <laughs> okay, um, and you effectively, you were just so slippery that you know how to get out of combat. And so uh, even though you would have taken probably four attacks at advantage, you slide right through all their defenses. Perfect. Where's the range indicator so I can see how far I could go with dash? Just a little bit like ruler. Ruler's one right here. Here. Okay. So it's right above me. It goes here to here. So it's 30. From here to here is another 30. Oh, shit. Okay. So then I'll just move as far up as I can right there. I'm going to. I'm gonna say, don't worry, guys. I've got an idea. <laughs> he just he just, he just runs in off into the darkness. I'm just yelling into the dark. I believe in you. Go, go, go. This can only do good. Okay, was that it? <laughs> that's yeah. That's all I got. Learned, it's definitely separating combat. <laughs> all right. Have, you you. You. You're on the same I'm initiative. Trying. Hey, you're on the same initiative. Uh, he, he didn't. So do you want to do something while he's running by? Because you're both at 21. It's, it's up to you if you want to try or not. Try what? Can I, how how far can you throw something? I'm assuming... it's At one point, he was less than 10 feet from you. Imagining we can talk to each other. Yeah. Are you running down to the, the boy down oh, there? I'm going to execute that guy, pulling the switch like Nosferatu. Okay. He's, so his, <laughs> also his weapon, his, uh, you know what? That's probably unfair. You literally have a radiant hand. I think it doesn't put off much light, but at least slightly around you when like you are making your attack it will be light at the time um so he is let's say glow in the dark but like after he's been glowing for a while you can definitely see him although he's not like providing a lot of illumination you know where he is as he's running i mean so dash he can move 60. Mm -hmm. how far can a bugbear throw a gift plasma <laughs> well, I can shrink myself down. Scholars have been asking bit. that for a long right, time. Like he can make himself baseball size. Yeah. He can definitely shrink himself down. Mm -hmm. uh, the answer would be athletics check. Because if you're down for it, I want to see if I can throw you and then you can run your 60. Oh, yeah. I mean, I like really fine. speed you up. Oh, that's interesting. If you want to give that a whirl, I'm down. You'd have to throw me towards this staircase, I think. Oh, no, you're, you're next to the staircase and you're fucking 
toss me. Yeah. So, and is this action or bonus action? How's throwing? Are you on board with this? Yeah, I'm down here. I'll just, Are you sure? Yeah. I'll, it would be your action. Well, do I have to bring myself back now? Let's let's see how this goes. Because if he goofs up, then you'll just you'll get a little extra speed where he like tries to throw you. You don't go very far, and then you can move. Gotcha. Does, does that mean we can shoot you off of crossbows in the future? <laughs> <laughs> I can put myself on the tip. I bet. If a hey, just the tip. Hey. we'll see. We'll see. All right. You can't recklessly throw something, can you? You sure can't. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's right. Wait, what? Yeah, it doesn't matter because you when you're raging, you're just advantage on everything strength related. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't write roll, that boy, down. roll. God bless. Mm, that's a... Uh-oh. You said athletics? Yeah, I did say athletics. As in your best skill. Come on. All right, 16. Ah. 16 is not very effective for throwing a person. I think what it is is like he's trying to force a full body transformation in a couple of seconds. You're not ready because you're in combat to um, smack you down. <laughs> <laughs> I would say with a 16, you probably can get an additional 10 or 15 foot closer. But beyond that, not much. Fuck yeah. <laughs> well, still more like a slap in the ass. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he kind of like did an alley -oop over the wall, really, and gave him a little shortcut. This was definitely one of the, like, in my head, I pictured, like, I threw a perfect spiral and he's going straight <laughs> into that guy. Yeah. And I just kind of. Well, yeah, it's, the it's main is jello. Yeah, it's still helpful. It was a cool action. I, there. I tried. He did try. Um, I guess uh, that doesn't really keep my rage going does it no it doesn't but it was such a bad throw that i'm fucking mad so i'm raging again <laughs> and i'll okay. let my turn all right <laughs> that uh, was a frick. shit ass turn how far away is the glowing hand man glowing hand man you mean the guy who pulled the lever yes uh far he's like 175 yeah, yeah. Feet or something. and that's last known position okay cool it is way 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 dark out there thanks for trying that, hmm. try. that helped this should be interesting. Hmm. So that hmm. thing next to Stewie <laughs> is also a Kreekin. Um Stewie has nothing adjacent to Oh wait, no, I'm sorry, it's seven. The leaf? Who's left the leaf? Uh, the so leaf? that is not him. That is his doppelganger. Seven is on the stairs. Okay. So all three people to my like northwest are, are doppelgangers. Correct. I'm gonna cast Gust of Wind. Oh, okay. Yeah. What does that do, sir? So basically, it's a gust of wind. <laughs> um, but um, it's a uh, uh, strong wind, uh, 60 feet long and 10 feet wide, blasts from you in the direction uh, you choose for the spell's duration. Each creature that starts uh, its turn in the line must succeed on a saving throw or be pushed 15 feet away from you in a direction following the line. Okay. So I will do that cardinal direction. Um, I think I can get two. For talking 10 feet wide. Mm, if it's 10 feet wide, you can definitely get three. The squares don't play nice, but I also put your clone on the wrong square. It should have been here. That's what I was thinking. Um, so it, actually, um, you cast this spell, um, and the other you kind of looks at the other two and says, this is going to be good. And give me the whoosh. Yeah, I literally just like Avatar. Just All three of them fall over the side and disappear. For an hour. You can't see them where you're standing. Uh, shark, you see that they slink into the shadows. Hmm. And they are gone. Hey guys, they slunk into the shadows. <laughs> I think that's, <laughs> they're gone. That's, that's good for now. <laughs> I think they're gone. My spear. That's good for now. Okay. That's the uh, end of my turn. Good job, for a. Mm. This should be interesting. I need a... Hmm. Hmm. Wisdom saving throw from Shark. No. Oh, good. You're so wise. I am very wise. Come on, big boy. You got this. That is an 11. <laughs> That's about Shark, right. you know what Charm Person does? Sure don't. Well. Shark doesn't, I do. You and Shadow Valar are best friends. All of them or just mine? Just you and Shadow Valar. Best friends. Oh, Go back Valar, to college. Yeah, to, yep. to Hell College. And you guys are buddies. And he wants you to do him a favor. Mm -hmm. He wants you to go pick something up from outside. He forgot it. Okay. 
Chubbs, I'm doing it. Okay. It, um, I believe it is. Well, it's probably the time. Right, it's just, Shark, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> wait, yeah, do I have to wait till my turn? Or do I yes, just go? yes. So you currently you're like, oh yeah, dude, I'll go get that for you. No problem, whatever. Um, but don't you don't have time. actions currently. Um, it will be Hem's turn. Charm person is concentration, right? Maybe. Okay. Yes. <laughs> well, then I, I'm going to sneak. Actually, I'm going to take a step back, just like five feet. I'm going to do another Arcana check on that book if I can. Just because I know it's going crazy. I want to see if I can stop that. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. You had advantage on this because you're fighting it. Oh. Uh, it's also a not concentration on this book. 12. <laughs> a little better. 12 won't do it. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, can I do an Ar Arcana check on the book to see like if I can stop it from doing the exploding thing? Please give me an Arcana check. That's an 11. Oh. Yeah, rough rolls on this. <sighs> Damn. Okay, um, I think you again tried to interact with the book and it's just, honestly, the hardest thing you've ever done is reading. Um, mm -hmm. And you're just standing so there being like, what do these words do? You know there is an innate secret of magic in there. You can see it. And, and in fact, actually, it's pulling you towards Shark, but nothing you can do. Okay. Well, I'm like, yeah, I'll check it again in a second, but I see what my friends, let's happen to my boys over here. So I'm going to sneak back again. And I'm going to use my knowledge to be like, oh, he can't counterspell twice, surely, unless he's way, 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 way stronger than us. <laughs> so I'm going to, again, attempt burning hands on... <laughs> The hue, the shark, and if it reaches the Valar, try and sneak him in there too. I hope so. I don't think it will. But, but uh, they have to, I cast it, so they have to make a saving throw, dexterity. Okay. Um, this time. This time, actually, so it goes to make that same, like, like spell snuffing motion, um, and it, like, like a predator hearing a noise in the distance, like towards the where the last the guy was seen, and it allows your spell to resolve. Mm. What's the save, sir? Uh, so wait, what is it? Fourteen. Mm, okay. You are gonna get. So the hue, the shark, and the Valar you're in. Um, I don't think I can reach him, so I'll probably angle it to get a little bit of the hemp too. Okay, it's a cone. Yeah, you could probably do that. Um, it's just 15 feet. I, I think mostly sense. a lot of people are sitting on half square, so it seems fine. Okay. Okay, um, yes. Uh, you said 15? Yes, and let me double check what it's. The spell save DC? Uh, well, the DC is 14. Got it. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm just checking the damage. Ah, interesting. Uh, you succeed. Okay. Just me? Mm hmm Okay. Then he's still going to take half damage, which will be... Uh, he take that's nine for Hugh and Shark, and then four, I guess, for him. Okay. Mm, let's see. Split. Interesting. All right. Um, so yes, it, they do not like the whew, the bright flash of fire. Um, for a moment, you see them flicker, um, and they recoil. Anything else? Um, I'm just gonna sneak back a little bit, like a block or two. And that'll be it. Okay. Um. The first thing that happens is the hue shadow. It is in the light, um, tries to do like a slinking into the shadows, but it is very well illuminated um, and retreat. Since you can see it, both of you two get a tax opportunity as it tries to slither down the stairs after hue. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen will do it. Nine. Nine. Damn. All right. What do you got? I can't roll the knight. Put the dice away. You want a new dice? Yeah. Um, <laughs> 11. No, I've got a bunch over here on okay. the switch. <laughs> 11. 11. Uh, what kind of damage? Bludgeoning. Okay. Uh, the flail, yeah? Yep. All right. There's a thunk uh, as you impact the creature. Oh, interesting. Um, but Hugh continues on. Um, and he's, uh, you hear him like kind of coming up and whispering. He goes, Bye bye. He goes. Hmm. <laughs> Does a fourteen hit your AC? Nope. Ooh. Okay. You you know what's coming, right? Yeah. Uh, he goes. And you know exactly how to dodge it. Um. But he is right here behind you, uh, followed by 
these shadows. So you've got <laughs> Seven, you've got Stewie, and you've got Hemp, who all appear. And they all go after you at this point. It should be an even fight, then. It should be. <laughs> okay. Seven missed. Stewie's got your number. And Hemp missed. Wow. Okay. Uh, all those were the advantage. I think Stewie says, you've got to relax, man. You've got to relax. Um, and she just gets you with, like, a knife. Uh, kind of looks like one of those, like, bone projectiles uh, for a total of nine piercing damage. She gets you good. All right. Okay, seven, you're up. Have we perception checked the book yet? He's, he's tried. tried. The, the, the Arcana check? Okay, okay. He's tried, but it's clear he's not winning. He's <laughs> <laughs> the best Arcana. I would have. like to <laughs> the rolls pick up the book. Okay. And I will just move a little bit forward, like next to next to hemp here. Give just... me an intelligence check with proficiency, if you can read. I can. Excellent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, plus proficiency, it would be 16. 16 will do I it, finally. Three. So you get to roll again. But. He's got it. Yep. Um, okay, so here's what happens. Um, you realize that at this point, all of this light, this magic is spilling out of a particular page and you open the page and on the page is the word daylight and in parentheses says, read me. <laughs> daylight. Um, okay, I need you to pick an area that you would like to be lit up. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I wonder where that would be. <laughs> I mean, Hugh, brother, do you want the assist is the question. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, light up this area around, okay. around here. What is, what's like the range? Ah, the heavens of have chosen me. Mm, let's see. Can you do... Okay, yeah, that's better. Yeah, uh, that is the range. And there is just like a burst of sunbeam in this entire area. And all four of these shadows are just like thrown backwards. Uh, I would say the hue shadow disappears entirely. The uh, three of them are scattered to the edges. Um, and this, uh, this light appears to be just staying here. It was just a word. I don't. Okay. Uh, here, I'm gonna throw it to him. You, you take it. <laughs> oh, good. I was reading it so good earlier. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Uh, and what was that an action or was that? Uh, no, it was just reading. Oh, okay. Which um, is fun, and everyone should do. <laughs> in that case, I'm gonna use some good old healing word on Hugh. Uh, what is the word? The word is, uh, feel better <laughs> <laughs> for three dam or three health. Yeah. Oh, plus your spell casting. So wisdom? Yeah. Uh, so it would be seven. Oh, oh I'm yeah. sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, so alarm. I added one, so it'd be six. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's not the cool number. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm so close. Ooh, thanks. Robot guy. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else? No, be <laughs> Let's do. Can you? Oh, mm -hmm. Can you talk out of turn sequence? Yeah. Talking is free. I'm just going to yell. Daylight. <laughs> 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 Nothing happens. Fuck. <laughs> that would be so insane. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> just spotlight. Ah, oh, I didn't think about this. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Um, I think I'm gonna do Tales from Beyond real Ooh, quick. Ooh, okay, roll the dice. So. It's a two. Mm. Tales of the Renown do list. Hmm, so this would be an offensive attack. Mm -hmm. um, and I have to use it next turn, right? Uh, you could use it now if you like. Um, I believe you, actually I believe you do use it now in this okay. particular case. Um, so, who? what's the eyeball one? Who is that? That's that Maximo. is Maximo, yes. Oh, okay. Um, how far away is, is Valar's guy? Can I, well, if I run here, will I be able to hit him? Yeah, you can absolutely move and do it. Okay, so I'll do that then. 
There we go. And then it says, I make a melee spell attack against the target. Um, you take a force damage equal to two rolls of the inspiration die plus my charisma mod. Yes. So, why don't you make that roll for the spell attack? Okay. When, um, I'll offer you the choice. I have an idea of who this spirit might be that's coming to aid you, but if you have an idea, I'll defer to you. Of uh, the... You've called upon a spirit to help you. Who is it? <laughs> um, is it someone possibly that we've killed earlier in the game? <laughs> <laughs> Your choice. Um, a feasible spirit, let it ride. Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> it's Murphy. Okay, I think finally now you all can see Murphy. He, uh, sure, her magic has given him four, and there's just like a hole out of him. Um, and uh, it it is gruesome uh, as Murphy comes up and does his best like knife on your behalf. And what was that attack? Uh, unnatural 20. Ooh, that'll do it. So go ahead and roll damage. Mm -hmm. Wait, does he get crit on her behalf? Unnatural 20. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm natural. sorry. No, wait, wait, wait. That was that I, I rolled the bardic dice for one. That's a 12. So did 12 hit? Uh, 12 plus. You get to add your spell attack modifier. Was it 12 on the dice? Yes. Oh, yeah. So you get to add your proficiency and then your charisma. So that's like above a 14, which is what you need to be. Oh, 20. So actually, there's a natural, yep. <laughs> natural 20 as well. Okay. Perfect. Roll me some damage. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. 22. 22. Plus my charisma modifier. Is that, am mm -hmm. I reading that right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. uh, 28 damage. Jesus. God damn. Did you say you're hitting Valar? Yes. His, I think she means shark. Uh, or, shark is the axie guy. Okay, yeah, whoever I ran up towards. Okay, now that it's lit here, there's an interesting phenomenon that you observe. After taking this damage, the shark the Valar and the Foray shadows all kind of wince in pain at the same time. Um, this is a significant blow. So like you, uh, describe the attack that Murphy does. But what does it look like? Like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's just getting him with a knife. The, the shark shadow almost like fades from existence as you guys can see here, defeated in the light. Um, and the other two shadows of you two gentlemen get a little more transparent as the as the value kind of evens out, if that makes sense. Guys, they're all connected. <laughs> Was that Murphy I saw? <laughs> yeah, he's my see, bud. You can see hey, him. What's up, man? That's the guy you killed. I don't think it is. <laughs> I don't do that, typically. <laughs> the ghost kind of like Typicamente. points knives at her and goes, and then points at you and goes. This <laughs> <laughs> just how we greet here, man. He doesn't see Stardust. He knows how. No. <laughs> It's like the, oh my God. So Anything perfect. else? Um, I'm gonna give Hugh Bardic Inspiration. Describe it. So I just kind of play my little guitar, a little, you know, like, hello, you've got this. <laughs> perfect. Uh, okay, so <laughs> your shadow also appears with this group out here on the outside. The shark shadow uh, isn't going to move, but it will be involved in this motion, as well as the Valar shadow. They kind of stand at the edge of this like radius of light, and they kind of unhinge their jaw, and they go <laughs> And they begin to actually inhale the light, and the radius shrinks as they start to consume it. This guy's a creep. I don't like it. I'm from hell. I don't like it with it. Okay, uh, and it is getting darker by the second. Um, we will go to Valar. All right. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to run like this way. Is that possible? Wait, because it's like yeah, just stay there. Okay. Um, as you're moving, you hear a loud. The, uh, the blowpipe assassin missed. <laughs> there's, a, there's a moth flying around. It's oh, shit. Just went, went around me. Um, from, from your shadow, you hear. He's jungle. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, and that, like, I can, that shakes me up. Because <laughs> you know what it means. Time, yeah. Of course. You can't believe he said that. So I'm going to run over here and then I'm going to make, like, a left turn right into the edge of the light. Uh huh. Um, is that in the light or is that out? Yep, that's it. All right. And then I'm uh, going to take a big old swing at. At Shark Shadow. Okay. It is still in the dark. No, he's three squares away from Maximus. You're good. Go ahead and give me an attack. 
Oh, uh, that's like a 24. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Does Maximo need a circle? I feel like Maximo needs a circle. You can just make Might be helpful. Thing. Yeah, I'll get Maximo a circle. Um, yay. It's a cool circle. Yeah, I just gotta move it. Um, for six damage, Ooh. six bludgeoning. Okay, um, a solid blow. It actually feels like you've made contact with the creature. Um, anything else? Um, I'm going to have there. Maximo take like, he's gonna scoot up to like here-ish. Okay. We have super light in the Venn diagram. Anything else? That's it. Mm, okay. Top of the round, Hugh, you have had some backup, some artillery, and some helpful words from Stewie. What do you do? Uh, I stick with the plan. I'm going up to where that goofball was last seen. So is the the guy in front of me, he's still sucking? He's sucking. Okay. So I'm going to go around him here. <laughs> so I'm going to come over here. Then I'm going to dash over here. And then I'm going to use my bonus action to dash again. So oh, shit. Here. Oh, my gosh. Nice. Okay. Let's shot. ignore. Just ignore. None of us are going to be able to help you. Just ignore. Just ignore. That real quick. Going to get just ignore that real quick. Blasted. Worst that's case, you can just jump his body. <laughs> I, I'm going. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> okay. I need a constitution saving throw. Oh, God. You hear a, as like um, the coldest wind you've ever felt in your entire life. That's a... I think that's a 16. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, 16. A 16 will do it. Oh. You will take half as much damage on this, which is. <laughs> math is hard. Math is hard. <laughs> I'll look right into the mic for that one. That's <laughs> You're welcome, yes, That's how Shark is, you know? 20. Oh. 20 full damage. As an enormous 60 foot cone of dark shadow <laughs> reaches out, and you feel almost like you're being enveloped. This very tells me he might be on the floor. Well, one HP. <laughs> oh, so, that's kind of one fire. HP in a dream. I think you should keep going. <laughs> I think it's a good point. So, the healing word saved your life again? Yeah. Okay. Brought me back. Okay. Um, I, actually, I think at the end you hear. Holy shit, you're still standing up, what the fuck? <laughs> well, I've got another one next turn. You barely have legs and you're like, oh. It's your turn. <laughs> like an ankle biter. <laughs> well, I only have one, I can't attack, right? Why not? Because I'm charmed. Oh, that's right, you gotta go with that thing. Yeah. So. You do with the thing, it's upstairs. Sometimes guys, I swear he just does the patronize us. Yeah, <laughs> guys, my best my best friend Valar needs me to, oh, hey, hey, other Valar. I'm oh, go wait, outside. actually, I believe Charm Person gets broken if someone does something harmful to... Yes. Oh, no, it would have to be harmful to him. I don't believe you've been attacked, unfortunately. So yeah, I think he's probably gonna need to go. But like, he didn't say to hurry, so you can just like walk a little. You know, it's like it's like when a dog sees a squirrel, it's like Matt just sees Valar, and I just imagine like... <laughs> Does Maximo get an attack of opportunity? <laughs> <laughs> can I like slap him in the ear or something on the way by? In, in this case, no, because you okay. can't attack. But I would say that if you guys really wanted to, when he was walking past you, you could make an attack of opportunity against him, theoretically. So you're saying if I happen to walk by Stewie <laughs> and she, she slaps the she shit out of me, stick her leg out and trip over or something. <laughs> All right, don't mind me, Stewie. I'm gonna go outside. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm I'm next to Stewie currently. <laughs> and I'm smacking the fuck out of you. Roll me, <laughs> like uh, roll me a d20 at your proficiency and your strength bonus. I would just like to point out this is the second instance of you doing friendly fire. <laughs> I would also like to point out that he has plus two AC. Yeah. Oh, oh, shield oh, of faith. Oh. Uh, 16. My AC is 16. Uh, I, uh, even with the shield of faith, is, it, it is, is 16 with the shield of faith. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Tigos roller. Oh, I thought it was 16 plus 2. You slapped the shit out of me. I thought it was 16 plus 2. Okay, yeah, you slapped him. You slapped the shit out of him. What roll the fuck me are a, you doing? Roll me a D4 and add your strength bonus. 
D4. My, my friend yep. wanted me to go get something for it. Four. My strength bonus is 20. Oh, what's your strength bonus? One. <laughs> she slaps a shetty for five points of damage. I spit out a tooth. <laughs> well, in D&D, &D, that's a pretty fucking good that's slap. A, that's a hell of a slap. That's a hell of a slap. I'm, there's blood dripping from you, my mouth. Do you have, like, bangles? I picture you, like... I do, yeah. I have a bracer <laughs> on my right arm. That's what it is. Just like, punk bracelet, almost? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Yeah, it's like a... It's more like an actual like bracer. Okay, good. fair enough. Yeah. Do it I, hurts. Do I kind of know what happened with the charm person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, right. It is actually, he, you know. Well, mm -hmm. as you slap me, then I'm going to turn back with a big grin of just blood coming out of my <laughs> mouth. And I'm going to kiss you on the forehead. Just, like, leave a big red mouth print. I know charm person when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> and Solver then I'm going to instantly again. turn back around and go hit the motherfucker that did it to me. Okay. Wait, if you're... Do you, you're raging, do you take half damage? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the other great thing is you kept my raging going. I was <laughs> just like, thinking, like yeah, you're raging, you're like just going. <gasps> She's got the, the, the locker locker kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Vibrating forehead <God> kiss. <laughs> it's the locker room strategy of just hit the shit out of your Wait, players. Just like so bah, 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 bah. five damage, what is half? Two. Two. Cool. Um, well, you've again chosen to go directly into the dark, which I applaud. <laughs> But this deck will be made. I never man. said I was smart. <laughs> I love it. Well, no, you're mad, right? You're getting there. Yeah. So I'm you're angry. You're, you're attacking targeting. with disadvantage. I assume you're recklessly attacking. I am recklessly. <laughs> which means you're just rolling. You should have just stayed right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, because this it is, is a still, wall. It is still in the dark. So I figured I can't. Uh, okay. He's kind of lightly floating there. It won't matter either way because the situation <laughs> came up earlier. When they're in the dark and you're not, it's oh, still see, disadvantage. Okay, yeah. The reason you didn't when you're hitting Shark is because uh, Maximo was helping you. I see. Okay, go ahead. It's just one dice. I know that's probably a foreign concept for you. I just one. Just one, yeah. You always get to roll I two. I don't know why you guys have fun doing this. Hmm. It's a 12. Oh, 12 is not This game suit. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you you have missed, describe uh, this swing. I think you're just discombobulated. What, uh, what is it? I'm pretty just dejected at this point at everything that's happened. And so I just, I don't think my heart was in it. Yeah. I just kind of, hmm. like kind of limply swing at Fair it. Fair enough, like you did it, but. Yeah. Have you solved my shadow puzzle? Well, I have a funny thing that I'm going to do is see if you want to let me troll you. Okay, well, it's your turn, so let's hear it. <laughs> oh, he adjusted the hat. Oh, God, he adjusted the hat. Things are about to get really bright in here. <laughs> How long have you had sunglasses in your hat? <laughs> well, these are for uh, when I'm on my sale, you know, voyages. Have you? Since really episode late. one? Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Calm down. The character's been thought out really well. I've seen oh. that hat. I can't believe that. Okay, yeah, sure. You Anyways. got sunglasses. It's double dark. What are you? What are we doing? <clears throat> Anyways, looks like this one. Uh, it's going to get really bright. And I'm going to cast Continual Flame. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you tell us what Continual Flame? I was worried. Can you tell us what that does? Mm -hmm. A flame equivalent in brightness to a torch springs forth from an object you touch. Mm -hmm. The effect looks like a regular flame, but it creates no heat and doesn't use oxygen. A continual flame can be covered or hidden, but not smothered or quenched. What is the object? Um, hmm. My shoe. Okay. Uh, I'm interesting. throw it out towards the- Oh, you take it off? I'm taking my like like chancleta status and I'm just fucking ye yeeting. Where are you throwing it? <laughs> uh, next to the two guys, next to the two shadow people. The ones that are in the Maximo light? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, you want to give them the more light? Got it, okay. Uh, give me a ranged attack. Yeah. Let's just see if you can throw shoes. Uh, so, so let me tell you what I'm trying to do. Okay. I'm trying to create more light. More light that mm -hmm. they're going to try to suck up, but they cannot suck up because it cannot go away. So, um, and that's pretty fucking funny. But here's the first thing that happens. Mm -hmm. Unlike the large shield, this works. You do get a continual flame torch. Um, <laughs> I think probably at this point you've realized what's happening. I have no idea. I just thought the shoe would be fun. Right? No, no, no. The shoe is good. Um, but I think this is enough piece of the puzzle because this is a spell you actually have prepared where you've realized that, um, yes, okay. This is a level two spell. It is more powerful magic than a regular light spell. Um, e even daylight is something you probably have been familiar with. It is a level three spell. It's very clear that these potent magics can get around the shadows, but not the cantrip of the light spell. Uniquely, you have come to that conclusion because you are casting a level two light spell in this way. Um, but give me a range attack to throw your shoe. It's a seven. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's a shoe, Ryan. Please. <laughs> I just think, you know what it is? I've thrown s- tons of things in my life. It's a shoe, brother. <laughs> it's a shoe. It's a I'm, shoe, dude. Yeah, but if, if a 10 is an average attempt at throwing a shoe, what kind of ask, shoe? Ask Matt how What I kind have. of shoes do you wear as 4A? <sighs> I think we have like really sleek Sperry's that are like uniform. He's <laughs> just like saying because he wants to throw them. On the boat, you wear Sperry's on the boat? Like, like, it, like that's what they would look like because over time uh-huh. we've evolved to have the most efficient shoe. Are you talking about, you're talking about dad shoes now at this point? Yeah, essentially. Okay. <laughs> now you have to. I mean, essentially like this, but like for boat. I'm going to call the author of your character and make them you have you crocked out. <laughs> Please. Okay. That'd be great. In this case, because he has put something on the line that is so dramatic, I will allow you to roll with advantage because this continual flame specifically says the spell can't be quenched. Thank God that missed. Thank God that was never. <laughs> The Crocs sponsorship. I can't believe you've done this. Son of a bitch is an eight. <laughs> all right. I got one. Look, you're right. It's throwing a shoe. Uh, I don't think you get it all the way there. I think you get it one square away from Maxima. Okay. Um, and if you'd like, you can draw your own circle of light. One square away from Maxima. <laughs> I'd like to move towards the shoe. <laughs> Why didn't you move before you threw it? Yeah, that would have made so much sense. <laughs> because now it's safer. Now. I know the light can't be taken away. Okay, all right. Um, it's like it's like a it's like a a, a, a pawn a trading. <laughs> I just I can't understand the Giga Brain move you're pulling on me right now. Really, I, the I, thought, I, thought to, <laughs> I, I thought they were going to try. I thought they were going to try to suck up the fucking shoe. Maybe really it's on their turn. Right. I know. I'm waiting okay. for it to happen. It's gonna be funny. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. They are not very smart. So please move yourself and draw me a shoe circle. Uh, of whatever croc color you'd like a sponsorship in. Yeah, how, how close did I get to that? Uh, uh, one square down and right of Maximo. So I'm going to put you in yeah. the square. Done it is here. Single thing in this fight. <laughs> <laughs> I have missed everything. I, this is such a weird fight. He's going to do it alone with one HP. Wait, wait, wait. So I'm supposed to. Okay, so you moved me closer <laughs> to the. It's next to Maximo. This is. this is uh, t- One up and left is Maximo. I'm putting you where the shoe landed. So you, I can, see. you can move. I just wanted to show you. I understand. Thank you. Okay. Was that your, was that your whole turn? Brother, it's a fucking <laughs> unquenchable shoe. Are you, what's the problem? Here? You do, you do got me there. The rules say that it can't be quenched. But if there's one thing that everyone at this table knows, it's that I don't play by the. I put it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't go to wizard school. I put on, I put on my sunglasses. I've been saving these for five years. Yeah, you did. Hey, you know what? Actually, actually, legitimately, you have entirely pulled one over. I will give you inspiration for having sunglasses in your hat. This whole fucking what time. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take these, this fucking shooter and shove it up that shadow guy's ass. Okay, get rid of him, please. <laughs> don't That's assume. how inspired. Don't assume he's got. A, okay, sorry. We'll get there. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get there. I'm his asshole. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's inspiration. Well done. And Thank please, you. please Thank draw you. your circle seriously about that. Yeah, yeah, I'm drawing the shoe. Okay, that's a great, great question. Great. Do shadows have assholes? No, that's a good question. <laughs> no one has attempted to find out. Um, that mind fuck aside, uh, there is. Oh lord, uh, there is a like shifting of the shadows in front of you. Actually, the mm-hmm. crane is now exactly sixty feet away from you. He is still there. Um, he looks like a. Uh, a shadow himself, but he's dressed in what you would recognize to be like um, a completely black assassin's attire. He has like knives for killing various vials, those kinds of things. It's clear uh, he is like hidden in and like kind of riding in the shadows, but you can see um, with the aid of your goggles as well as your um, innate dark sense. Um, and I think when he sees you tracking him, he goes, interesting. And he kind of waves his hand and goes invisible. Um, we will go to him. Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna shut my eyes and take one last attempt at understanding this book. <laughs> see if maybe I can have the same effect as seven. Nat 20. Oh, oh there we go. The eyes and I'm like, oh wait, that's how I read. I forgot. <laughs> you have <laughs> close my eyes. You have like some kind of backwards photographic memory where you, you see it first before you understand it. And then I you can't read see it, it when I'm looking at it, but it's like I remember it. Yeah, right, like, oh, exactly. fuck. Um, you have turned and you realize from your time at not wizard school, your time in the field, that there was a glyph of warding in here that triggered a light spell of some kind. You assume daylight because you said the word daylight. In the book, however, you find an inscription um, left by the author um, that's kind of the most uh, relevant thing here. And it says, um, you must flee. A dangerous shadow creature has been chasing me for days. 
And while I was able to make my escape to the moon, you no longer have time before the creature finds you. One foot in, one foot out. He is not of our dimension, but he can hurt you. Be careful and stay away from the shadows. A box of flares can be found upstairs, but they only last for a limited amount of time. Do your best and stay out of this place. Okay, I'm gonna open my eyes and be like, all right guys, well, we're way too deep in to leave, which is what they want. They told us to do. But uh, if we go upstairs, there's a bunch of flares we can use. They don't last forever. They'll last a while though. But honestly, I think we just gotta go right where Hugh was going. Make sure you stay in the light though. Uh, I'll keep, does the book like give off light still? Yeah, I would say very weakly. Um, probably not a lot to, to protect yourself by, but enough to see from. Um, it also points out the box that the flares are in. It's the closest box of the stairs actually. Uh, which one is that? There's like a stack literally right next to the stairs. Okay. Um, you telling me that we're looking for flares? We're looking for flares. Look you were literally standing right on, them. on them. Yeah. yeah. I know, I have a shoe. I know you have a shoe. It is a flare forever. <laughs> I know, that's why it's really funny that there was a box of flares literally within arm's reach of you. <clears throat> we also have that sunlight guy. That robot dude saying daylight or some <laughs> shit. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well, I'm gonna. You and Charlie infused into one. <laughs> um, what are we gonna do when he dies next turn? We're gonna have to <laughs> well, the Charlie's bad guy vanished. I'm fine. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, yeah, that means he's fine. <laughs> so you you lay left. <laughs> yeah. Then one of those shadow guys disappear. I'm gonna. He's gonna come running back to us. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you like partially frozen as a gummy bear hippo? No. I was just very I was full hippo at that moment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh. oh yeah, you saved, right? You you yeah. flexed your hippo, of course. Yeah. Dumb question. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> so twenty was whip half. Yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Holy shit. Alrighty. Um well, I told us all I think we just gotta get the hue as soon as possible. Something tells me he might be having trouble down there. I think you all would at I least am. <laughs> <laughs> You would have this it's literally sixty feet of cold. You would have felt this for sure. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna run up right next to Maximo then, and I'm going to, um, let's see. I am going to lob. <laughs> Sorry. How far do potions splash? I feel um, like I would, is that something I would Is know? this for your effect? Yeah, because I still have that potion in my hand and I think it's about to burst. It would depend on the particular potion. Some of them are AOE, some of them are not. Um, this one, as you know, affected only you. Last time. Okay. But you did drink it. Um, if I have a plus one athleticism, how far can I throw? It would be like a ranged attack, right? We're gonna just aim for a square. So proficiency and dexterity. Because you're these bombs are made for throwing. Okay. Well, you would you do you think hemp could nuke it all the way all the way to the guy on the ground? 175 feet in the dark? No. Okay. <laughs> what about what about to me? It puts some 150 yeah, put five feet. Put, put him to sleep, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> just, just knocks. I'll so make you feel better. <laughs> you catch. Take one and call me in the morning. Just um, I'm just going to turn and fastball it at my shadow self, see if it has an effect. Okay. Um, Give me a ranged attack. Uh, so what is that? Dexterity, proficiency. Uh, Plus two, plus two. That is a 12. Yeah. <sighs> mm. No, that won't do it. Okay. Um, I think you just go to hurl it and it's in the dark in its element. It isn't quite enough. Hard yeah. to see. You do hear it <laughs> breaking to the ground. Like, that probably hit him. Let's go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> good, good throw him. And I'm gonna jump down here just out of range of sharks. Uh, Shadow Shark's uh, mm -hmm. attack of opportunity. Um, well done. And was that a bonus action to throw that or action? I, I believe we were saying it was a bonus action for your ability specifically. Okay. And then in that case, I'm going to, they really don't like that there fire. I'm gonna firebolt uh, Shadow Shark. Okay, Shadow Shark notably not in the dark, so a regular attack. Uh, 12 plus six to 20, or uh, 18. 18 will hit. Nice. Mmm. And that's just a kill. Him. Guy. Wow, huge. Hit him for a single damage. <laughs> what? <laughs> One singular damage, yeah. That's huge. You, um, you hit Shadow Shark. Um, cool. 
and there's like a little bolt of flame that goes through him. Uh, and Shadow Short kind of looks at Shadow Valar and Shadow Foray, and they laugh at each other. Like there is just a moment of, are you serious? Well, I heard so bad. <laughs> no, Shadow Shark says, case closed. <laughs> That's my line. <laughs> Double yeah, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I've never been this angry in my life. <laughs> With that, I shall end my turn. Mm. Well, hemp. Oh no! Shadow Stewie. First, <sighs> disappears in the darkness, reappears behind you, Hugh. <sighs> the fuck is my shadow problem? I'm trying to decide what particular thing it's irked about. Ah. You should get for it to shut up sometimes. <laughs> a nine misses. Yeah, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, lucky, it's fucking <laughs> shadow <laughs> seven. Oh, appears gonna, in front of you. It's gonna happen. Why are you always lying? A sixteen. All right, I cast shield. Oh! <laughs> what does it do? Gives me plus five AC until <laughs> the end of my. Until the start of my next turn. So? I'm at 20 AC. There you go. (laughs) His shadow knife misses. Unfortunately, (laughs) shadow hemp also (laughs) disappear, reappear in front of you and says, your finger tasted like shit. <laughs> well, he's lying, man. But only rolls an 11. You have again escaped oh death. That shield oh quite literally might have saved your life. <laughs> Until next turn. Until next turn. <laughs> Seven, it's your go. Uh, oh you boy. Got any more of those daylights, bro. <laughs> <laughs> is Damn. It, yeah, is the book a, a one use thing? Uh, it does feel spent, but he has it currently. Okay. Uh, I've got a refractory this. period. <laughs> I'm make this a little bit. Hold on. Okay. Here, please, please. I will. My uh, plans still come into fruition, boys. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm going to move over here. <laughs> Suicide by shadow. I, I can't believe you lived. That's crazy. He's far enough. We can't do it. <laughs> we literally have the group move to him. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end my, end my turn. I'm just going to move there and hope we're, hope we're together. I think. Was that a dash? Oh, I was scrolled out. No, it was just regular. I was just right here. You could dash. But they're 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 sucking this up, right? They are currently sucking it up. You know what? But two two of the suckers are gone. I'll dash like right here behind Valar and I'll just kinda like I'll pat him on the back and be like, <laughs> fellow metal man. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a moment of camaraderie in the darkness. I love it. Anything else? That'll be it. Like <laughs> Stewie. <big> slapping motion. <laughs> Um, okay. I guess <laughs> I am going to, do I need to run down these stairs? How do I, how there are stairs there. Yeah. Technically you could jump. Could I? Do I need to make a athletics? athletics check to not take any fall damage, but yeah. Okay, so I am going to try to get right here to the edge of the circle of light. All right, give me an athletics check. Yeah. Or an acrobatics, either one. Mm, I think they're both the same. See how well you handle this kind of 10 foot drop? Uh, that is, I'm gonna go with acrobatics because it's plus two. <laughs> okay. At uh, 21. Uh, that'll do it. You won't take any fall damage, but um, how do you get down this ledge? I do like a little front flip. <laughs> oh shit, okay. All right, yeah. Um, um, you hit the ground running, literally. Yes, and then he is in like total darkness, but remember he's kind of glowing with the power of a righteous cause, so you, you do know where he is. Okay. Um, just trying to see like how far up there. Am I, is my shadow self within? No. Could you have ended here instead? No. And would that change anything? Yeah, that would put me close to my shadow self. I was just gonna do vicious mockery. Oh! My shadow self. Um, and so I'm just, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, you're a horrible drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, it is like obscured by the darkness, but he's giving off enough light for the least you to be able to see where Shadow U is. Um, so yes, yeah, so I guess Shadow U is making a wisdom saving throw against Vicious Mockery. <laughs> <laughs> you get one, one uh, D4. Damage, and rolls a natural 20. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> and says, 
We're both fun at parties. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's all I can do right now, so. Okay. God damn it, they're so fucking far away, you! <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> One seed. Can't be too far, man. We hear you still. I'm screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds Probably. like it. <laughs> Shadow Shark is going to attempt to find some coverage of darkness, and by doing so, we'll provoke an attack by opportunity from the Let's go. Boobie down. Beat a shit in. Oh, yeah. that's a 23. Oh, it hits. Boobie down. Oh, shit. That's uh, four damage. Okay. You are doing four damage. It is very clear that Shadow Shark is going to attempt to sink into the is darkness and disappear. Seven. Is there anything else you like want to do? Oh, wait, I think uh, Aaron's on to something. That is a seven instead of a one. Say, yeah. So oh. it's actually 10 damage. Oh, okay. Well, that's different. much better. Oh, wait, mm -hmm. sorry, that. I was going to say. You know, I was like, oh, that's a weird looking one, but whatever. Well, we painted the number in a color, so now we can't uh, see. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got him. Uh, a solid contact, shark, foray, and your own shadows kind of shudder at the recoil. But unless there's anything you want to do, it's going to continue moving. Am I able to, um, what's the word? Divine smite, smite on, sure a, an oper on an attack of opportunity? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Do you have a D8 I can steal? Mm. Correct me, off camera DM, he can do that, right? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. 100%. I remember being Which bested by my I'm own I'm just going to ask, uh, is, it, is this either a fiend or an undead? You better believe. Which Give me both of them then. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that's the seven one. And yeah. that's the one. Hey, so we're percent. learning. That's uh, 16 extra damage. 16 extra radiant damage, correct? Yes. You delete him. Uh, and you, there's this brilliant blow. Describe your action, actually. Um, so after I hit him with the flail, I like stay in that pose and then just like a beam of light from f fucking nowhere just like slams it. Yeah, um, and not only do you delete him, it's very clear that your own shadow and Foray's shadow like recoil from this blow as well. Um, so no, he uh, was going to slink away and disappear into the shadows again and he does not. However, um, the Foray shadow is next. Stu, you get an attack of opportunity. It is attempting to flee into the darkness to go somewhere. Okay, oh, so I, I wonder where it's going. <laughs> <laughs> is that a D It'd be if you have a melee attack of some kind. What's what he got oh, for D8 laughing then. at me? You gotta roll a hit first. <laughs> Nuke them. Oh. 19. Oh, okay, yeah. Go on and roll me some damage. And that's five plus two, seven. Seven points of damage. Fuck you. Math, I gotta do math for this one. Oh, that's exactly enough. Okay, this one. A powerful blow. How do you describe your attack? What do you do? This is four A's. Correct. Oh, that's so funny. I, <laughs> yes, it's four A's. All the story there. fucking right. <laughs> that's so funny. I wish he would fucking shut up. <laughs> uh, and he disperses again. Um, the final of your trio of shadows uh, recoils in pain in front of you, Shark. Um, as you um, force this shadow to cease to be. Oh, that was kind of therapeutic. <laughs> 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 the Valar Shadow, um, unfortunately, is in the darkness um, and will just whoo, cease to be um, without moving and will reappear here. Oh, there is no movement. Correct. Oh, um, hence why all of the lights have been so great, except for this one, which was in the dark. Now, you are in the darkness. It does have advantage. <laughs> oh. I think it would be remiss if I didn't get to do a little skill check. Yeah, oh. run it. It's got to be. You have to. So you have. You have to roll a twenty, right? Yeah. yeah. He has to hit a twenty, um, and just to peel back the curtain a little bit, uh, he has a plus five to hit. So this has to be a fifteen or higher. Oh, okay. oh boy. And no matter what damage he does, you are going down. So if this is either of these, because he has advantage, because you're in the dark. Um, no, actually, you're, am I in the dark? Because you of are lit. So okay. straight up and down one. Twenty-five percent chance that I get to kill the main character. Let's get it. <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh, what was that other face? The other was the other was. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know what shit. lucky star you have, but I tell you, 
It'll be another hundred years of training before you can hit me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the Valar flail, um, and it's just not meant to fight gummy bears, right? And he's got he, he's not a hundred years, and he's like bending in and gumming. Uh, and you are just uh, you you have dodged four attacks with one HP. I am so impressed. <laughs> That's crazy. So far. That's crazy. Okay, um, this team of shadows is done. Valar, you're up. All right. <laughs> That's Hang crazy. On. Uh, why is this not doing anything for me? God, you are so fucking far away. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not that far. <laughs> um, hang on, I need to look at my options for sure, a second. Sure, you could throw him even further um, away from the party. I don't, no have, <laughs> I don't have it written down. Is lay on hands touch distance? Does anyone know off the top of their head? I think it's it is touch. Like, you gotta lay your hand. Yeah. Okay, that's what I was afraid of. Yeah. Um, that's tough. Well, tough. I guess I'll just, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> sorry. If you're worried about people dying, I have a solution. I have yours, it's okay. Where do you go before the bad boys? Um, given that we have oh, seen sure. the initiative order, it will go back to Hugh, then Shark, then 4A, then Creepy Crane Guy, uh, <laughs> then Hemp, then a group of shadows, then Seven Stewie Shadows Water. Yep. As All the master have, tactician here, I know what's going on. All you have to do is heal them enough that the mm -hmm. next 40 damage attack doesn't kill them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do you one better. I'll kill them myself. Oh, oh true. You are. I'm not gonna see that 40 damage No, if I, you know, if I were to kill you first though and then do something like uh, gentle repose, whatever it is, or something like that. I think that so our new strategy is just keep him to be able to revive? It'd be kind of, like, like keeping What he's saying is that. when you die, he will keep your body fresh. There's no win, just wait. I've got such a- That's what that spell is, just so you're- I'm That's so how it's like putting turns. It's like putting a heart on ice. Uh, yeah, that's what he wants to do to you. That's how much faith you're- No, 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 no I have heals. I actually have heals, it's okay. Um, your sunglasses have blinded you to the truth, which is that teamwork will get him through this. My sunglasses I mean, have He been runs alone and casts shield. I can't Whoa. even see the shadow, I'm gonna be honest. That's the, that's the best part about these sunglasses. I've got Far range heals, but there's a limit to it. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, Blair. I don't think there's really <laughs> anything I can limit. do other than scooting up uh, to the edge of this. This is not working for me. Into this circle zone. Um, and then, the circle zone. Look, the circle zone. then I'll scoot Max oh, and up to like, I don't know, wherever like the edge is still encompassing everybody. Can I drag the circle? Sure can. I can help you if you're not. Okay, cool. Like wherever one up, one that up the spot line. is. So like, ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're saying, yeah, that's fine. Somewhere, somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah. He's he's there-ish. It's okay. Um, I think that's all I can do. Okay, it's you. You're alone. Your AC is back right. to normal. Yep. So I'm gonna disengage, and this is exactly I think it's 55 feet for me to get mm -hmm. to that switch. So I'm gonna run up here. This guy's invisible. I'm pulling the switch. I want now, the on. it is an elevated crane position, so it's a it is a little more. But just like she was able to overcome a little height difference with an acrobatic or an athletics check, if you roll me an acrobatics and beat a 15, you can Gumby step your way to the lever. Okay, I believe. Come on, hold on. Oh. Didn't you give him a bright inspiration? Oh, well, I, I don't need it. I got a 20. Oh, that's right. Like, no. oh. 14 plus my act. <laughs> okay. Um, describe the scene. So I, I'm sprinting through. I say, what? you know, out of my way, nerds, as I push across the shadows and spit, and then I keep running. <laughs> then I stretch my leg out like Inspector Gadget with like the springy feet. And then I mm. step onto the crane and I pull the lever up and turn the lights on. You explode. <laughs> yeah. You hit a land. It wasn't properly grounded. I get <laughs> you hit the wrong lever. You start descending really fast. <laughs> Here's what the rest of you see. <laughs> you just get hit with chunks of gummy. <laughs> Delicious. My, my mouth is agape. <laughs> The lights immediately get thrown on. You hear that like large power circuit breaker industrial sound as they flicker on. You hear the fluorescent incandescent bulbs coming. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Got me, dude. The Valar shadow gone. The Stewie shadow gone. 
the hemp shadow gone. The seven shadow gone. One by one, they launch parting uh, shots at you. Uh, sober up and uh, you need to find some humanity and several other sharply pointed things. And as your gaze travels past them, you see a knife appearing from nowhere, stab Hugh directly in the back and he goes down. I then can't shield. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> wait! Can you just do this? He can, he can just, I have two uh, spell slots. He can just do twice. this, but unfortunately, no he, being invisible, has a uh, advantage. Does a 20, 23 still beats your AC? Does. Yeah. That's fuck. <laughs> Damn. Fully invisible. A knife whoosh, plunges into Hugh. Hugh goes down hard, hits the ground, and while the combat is over. Hugh is dying. <gasps> Yo! Yo! <laughs> We're going to, for the first time, roll some death saving throws. I'm so excited. Um, and I think it would be appropriate for us to keep them hidden. So, if you would do me a solid and roll a d20 and hide it from everyone. I'm not looking. And just um, keep the result there. No, no peeking. <laughs> okay. There's a the result. We'll check out on that in a minute. So it's just raw, right, for a death saving Correct. throw? Correct. Okay. If it is a 10 or below, you have marked a failure. If it's a one, it's two failures. If it's a 20, you stand up immediately. If it's above a 10, you have one success. If you reach three failures or three successes, you either die or stabilize unconscious. So you have the results of one die. Worst case scenario, let's say he rolled a one, he could die in the next six seconds. In that case, I think we should stay in initiative as you guys have seen him go down. I think dramatically too, you'll fall down the ladder, right? Um, <laughs> okay, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, and, um, and maybe only because you did the Gumby move where you've like reached up for the lever, like, hey, fuck you, dude. He gets you, you go back down. So you were there on the ground waiting below. Shark, your best friend in uh, child murder has just hit the ground hard. What do you do? I'm beside myself and I'm... Stewie, you're the closest to him. You gotta do something. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I can't really heal him. Or Somebody anything. heal him. <laughs> I can't. I was There's trying to get up friend. as close as I could just to try and help with, I don't know what, but. <laughs> <laughs> we're still in combat, right? This is rounds. Um, so we're, we're not in combat. The reason being, if we go out of combat, there's a chance he just dies before you get there. So we, gotcha. need, to, we need to measure and be sure. And so still, like, best yes, thing I yes. can do is. Uh, currently, you can't see any enemies. The light appears to have dispersed the shadow assassins. Um, and the one that stabbed you, notably, leaps from the crane, like over into like whatever abyss or darkness is there. Coward. <laughs> so he fell, but he didn't move on the map. Correct. Uh, last scene in this area, he was right here. <laughs> can can seven you. throw berries? <laughs> <laughs> can an unconscious person eat them? Oh, Seven has long range heals. You can use, what about it? Can you use a good burger like a suppository? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can an unconscious Seven. person do that? Seven, hell. Well, you can do it for him. How much do you have to be to, to heal Hugh? 60 feet. 60 feet. I'm going to throw Seven. <laughs> <laughs> do you give him a choice? I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm distraught. You are, I'm raging. Give me the athletics check. Um, are just, you going to resist? Can I also do stuff, or is this just? No, this is his like, turn. Okay, okay. I would like to remind everybody: I did cast Gust of Wind earlier. Oh, it might give him a little bit of help. You know, he's already got advantage. However, let's assume that he gets some real air. We can talk about it. And also, I know somebody that has feather falling. I do have feather fall. That's I've true. been. That's all I'm saying. I've been running around, raging and screaming and flailing my axe and missing everything, and I just. You really, like, you really need this to come through. As I go over to seven, I close my eyes and call call upon the arbiter of all things lawful above me that leads my life, and I just fucking toss him. Oh, baby. Well, that's good you stuff. You do the same thing on both dice, that's crazy. Yep, that's a 22. Ooh. Oh, like, <laughs> I think you get, trying to do the math here, 20 feet of bonus speed? I think it, it doesn't look so much uh, like a full throw as it does like a hard shove. Cool. Um, and he gets a hell of a running start. So go ahead and move yourself 20 feet closer. Yo. Right there, kind of. Uh, yeah, it appears to be math. Uh, a little bit, a little bit oh, farther. farther. Like right, right, farther. right there. Now, now yeah. cinematically speaking, he'd be yeeted into the air and then it would go into my turn if you ended your turn now. Cinematic. It would be your turn. Are you trying to combo? Oh, so I'm in the air right now. 
I were you trying to give him some ups? If you asked me to describe it, I had his feet in my hand and I was spinning a okay. circle like I never throw. That's the way 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 I was going to do enhance ability, but it's too late. Right, so we, instead of letting seven run for sixty feet, we just made him stay in the air for nothing. <laughs> well, no, 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 he's he's so he's, he's no, 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 it's not his turn. Not his turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I just yeah. added twenty, 20 feet. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone can do sixty, but now he can do eighty. Yeah. Okay, so All right. Oh, sorry. As the other resident healer, what I'm going to do is take my shoe that is now glowing eternally, yeah. put it back on my foot because it doesn't burn me. Okay. And I fucking I'm sprinting, dude. Sixty feet. Okay, I you like that. Know it. I'm not going to take any move speed for putting your shoe back on, but I do think it's funny that you, in this dire moment, have decided that you need your croc back on. <laughs> That's dedication. And go ahead and make your move. I'd like to point out we're in sport mode. Oh, got it. Yeah. Well, yep. the, the traction of the croc's natural shape really makes it mm -hmm. easy to get there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm buying this. Anything other than dashing? Is that it? Uh, I can't seem to grab my fucking character on. Oh, um, there we go. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, I've got him. Well, the, of course, the Crocs kept you in place from any unwanted movement. Okay, I moved 45 and then it stopped letting me move. Hold on. Okay. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Oh my, oh Jesus, what is going on? I'm trying to move the circle out of your way because we don't really need it anymore. All right, here you go. And I am... Wait. Oh, I'm Hold waiting. on. Okay. <laughs> no, I dash. I'm done. done. You did dash. Mm -hmm. Was this a trick? Are you pranking me? No, 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 not yet. That was it. That was the whole turn. Just the turn's moving. Yet. Wait. Healing word is 60 feet. Hold on. Doing some maths. We're I can not, go ahead and tell you. Quite there. Yeah. Not quite there yet. <clears throat> some little bitch, Ryan. Done. If you were in Australia, that could have been almost a 60. Uh, okay, then we'll go to him. All right, I'm going to run, going to dash, run 50 feet, and then I'm going to use Misty Step to get there. Mm. I have my turn. Okay, the rat race has begun. Uh, seven. Uh, I will also, one second, sorry. You're good. I will. You kind of oh, skitter to the ground. Yeah. Uh, I'll just move myself up here and then I'll use my, I'll use a dash as well and get another little, little boost. Okay. And I don't think I'm in range yet. Nope. Yeah. Stewie. What's down there? A little more. I, I guess I can just, I don't have any like, healing ability, so I'm just gonna dash. Okay. And just be up near everybody. Okay, so. anything else? Nope. Okay, Thor. Okay, I'm gonna come up here next to 4A. And then I think I'm going to cast Peerless Athlete, uh, which is my channel divinity. Um, which means I get, it's a bonus action, I can get advantage on any strength and dexterity checks. And I can also carry, push, lift, and drag twice as much weight. Um, so can I pick up Furry and take him the rest Absolutely. of the way with me? <laughs> so, yes. Why must you emasculate me twice? <laughs> in front of our peers. He needs you, to be healed. You sweep him off his beautiful, beautiful feet. Uh, <laughs> I would like to just point out that I will have another 24 hour no talking period. <laughs> so it is canon. Please, before you carry on, how are you carrying him? Um, so I think I like, I, so as my channel divinity, I grab my, my amulet and just like get a burst of power. <clears throat> and I think I just like kind of palm the back of his, whatever oh, he's wearing, yeah. and just like throw him like a sack of potatoes <laughs> over my <laughs> shoulder and just start running. Frame, like do, you, do you allow this? Do I allow it? Yeah, I don't think I have a fucking choice. You, listen, you got player agency, brother. You can contest here if you want, but I'm just reminding you what happened the last time you tried to throw hands in. Uh, how tall are you? <laughs> like eight feet? Somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're all out. Dude, <laughs> sometimes you just got to bend over, brother. It's... <laughs> you know, well, I can't wait to visit this scene in the fan you know, art. Like, don't ask, don't tell, brother. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, so well, no. speaking of don't tell, don't tell me that again. And what were you doing? <laughs> I was moving. <laughs> All right, you guys are going for an adventure. Like, yep, we're going wherever we want. I, lo I love yeah. this. You think when whoever was writing the ability for Oath of Glory, they're like, you know, it'd be really funny if someone just picked up an old cleric and ran like that. <laughs> it's literally like a you sling me over. <laughs> and then when I get to my landing point, 
I'm gonna like one hand him again and just like set him up and kind of like smooth out his clothes and stuff. <laughs> First of all, one handing me is kind of, I'm not, I'm not a basketball you can palm. Okay? Well, at this point. And at right, this yeah. point, he, yeah, he did. You tri dribble me. I gave you a chance and you said, absolutely, let him do it. I mean, and now you've been palmed. He, he told me. All right, fair enough. Yeah. Well played, anything else? Uh, nope, that's it. Hmm. Well, that brings us to Hugh. Would you please roll another secret d20? Oh boy. <laughs> Damn, his react faces are so good, I can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is making me nervous because I don't know either. Okay, um, something has happened. We don't know. Shark, you're up. Um, this is fucking terrifying. I'm just gonna he could already be dead. Uh, or, or he could, <laughs> he could also be up. Be like, could, yeah, be I'm just standing here waiting. <laughs> hey, guys. I'm getting like, flashbacks to Bambi, like when I first watched that and I thought the mom was still alive. Yeah. I'll just dash. Okay. That's fine. I'm not up top, I'm under that. You're thing. under, got it. Anything else? I I thought, how does dash work? You I use an action to move minute. again. So I still have a bonus action. Then. Correct, correct. No. You got a rage, you hit him. No. <laughs> um, I'll win my turn. <laughs> <laughs> a fair play for A. Okay. So you move me. How Let's much? say that he sets you on, because you guys can't really share a square, he sets you right there. Measuring, measuring. Oh, measuring, measuring, okay, my measuring. thing is lagging. Get the protractors. It's lagging. We got high Rumors. pings, high ping, high ping. Someone just got kicked from the room for lagging out. Jesus. Low. We're getting DDoSed. <coughs> Not in a time like this. You can definitely move 30 feet and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, yeah, I'll just, yeah. Oh, oh, and I did you all this service. Canonically, he is at the bottom of the ladder. Oh, thank God. We have already established this. Yep, okay. 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 There's so many things moving. Okay, I'm gonna move here and I'm gonna cast Gust of Wind. I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Good riddance. <laughs> yeah. like a big the wrong spell. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I have two of the words. Oh, what the fuck? Did I not prepare a healing spell? Oh my I'm god. So I'm trolling. I'm tro everybody calm down. Healing word 60 feet. Bonus action. Mm hmm. <laughs> Wake up, bitch. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it uh, regains uh, equal uh, 1d4 plus my spellcasting ability modifier, which is 3. So roll a d4. You roll a d4. I roll a d4. But don't, don't roll shit, you're dead. <laughs> Seven. Uh, what were the results of your two rolls? So the first one was an 8. Oh. And okay. the second one was a 14. Okay, yeah. so yeah. had some time. Yeah. But you do, you wake up. Yeah. Oh, did we win? Oh my god. <laughs> All thanks to you, you. You did it. Which one of you stabbed me in the back? Okay. I would just like to say that I ran over here. He's deflected real hard. And you were uh, right far right. away. Okay, you guys are gonna start yelling. I'm gonna tell him I kill everybody. Marcia. <laughs> you should have fucking seen it. But thanks for your service, Foray. <laughs> Well, yeah. I'm gonna go find that assassin now. So on my turn, I'm gonna dash. <laughs> <laughs> Jumps over this. No, sure. You want to go back into what to the scene of the crime? Yeah. Are, are we are we still in the round stuff though? No, we're not in round stuff. Oh, okay. I run over and I give him a hug. <laughs> I'm gonna catch him. He's already gone. Oh, I'm gonna run over and be like, "What did you see? Did you see some kind of afterlife?" No. Oh, okay. There was nothing. We could hear. Nothing, you there was forward. nothing. I love how we're moving our characters like Club Penguin right now. <laughs> That's adorable. I am over here moving in circles. I'm doing the dance. <laughs> Check out my fluffle. So has he already left us? Like, is he running away? I don't know. Hugh, did you actually go? Oh, no, no, I'm kidding. I'm just oh, right okay. here. Uh, I what, thought I lost my only friend. Your only one. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> oh. So, I mean, my best friend. I'm going to lay on hands and give him five HP back. Oh, thanks, Falar. I'm going to like grab the sides of your face, and as my hands are going, I'm going to be like, don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to grab uh, Shark real quick and be like, can you come with me real quick? Sure. If you want to hop up here real quick and look at these crane controls. I feel like we're playing with action figures by moving <laughs> yeah. these. All right, so we're on the crane together. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to check. Is there anything besides the lever that turns on lights? Is there like controls for like a ship or anything? There are controls. Oh. 
I can I start kind of check them, see if maybe they're similar to the crab. When you say people. check them, you want to investigate them, or are you trying to like I'll just do fucking pull one? Okay, can, no, I'm I just gonna look to say, at them. Can I just pull one? <laughs> you're looking to do that. You're well, I got a nat twenty. So oh, I'm like, wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! Yeah, no, no, <laughs> Calm down, Jack. You're doing too <laughs> yes, much. Yes, um, these are the crane controls for the facility, so they control the arms here as well as anything else that kind of has to do with like the delivery floor here. So all the lights above um, and kind of extending ladders and that kind of stuff. I got them in my hands and I'm looking at you because you told me to wait. That one brings a big ladder down. I do kind of want to see where that goes. Okay. It connects the layer you're on with the layer right below you. They're kind of in the middle. Uh, where's wow. the one below us? Oh, I see it. The lighter yep. version. Yep. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. All right. Well, we got to find out which of these which of these little sections takes us to the moon real quick. We do still have to get to the moon. <laughs> That's true. Also, that little book said, uh, I think it's from the Goblin Lady, and she was telling me all about how uh, this guy's been chasing her for a long time, and she finally he finally caught up to her when she got here. So I'm thinking he's a ne'er-do-well, and she escaped to the moon. Are you flipping through the book when you're reading this? Yeah, I'm still like checking back the diary, and I'm like, mm. Now when there's less pressure, there are plenty of pages, which in your reverse photographic uh, reading process, where you memorize and then mentally read, you are understanding that they are like insane calculations and writings that are just like on top of each other, upside down, like just so utterly chaotic. Um, give me an intelligence check with proficiency. Uh, unnatural point. Okay. Um, it doesn't all make sense to you because it is truly insane, um, but they appear to be um, like brief calculations of like orbital trajectories as well as like physics and how uh, various like ballistics would exist both in high gravity, low gravity, and zero gravity environments. Um, they appear to be the theory for the uh, like the canon itself. Mm -hmm. And then as you're like flipping through, you get to the very end of the page and like all the writings kind of get to the last part and like real small on the margin says, ran out of room, uh, volume two. Hmm. All right, well, I think this is gonna be how we get to the moon. Like this is how we calibrate it, but we need another book. So if we see another book like this one, that should be the volume two that we need. Also, Hugh, you remember when you made Zatchet kill that guy? Yep. Says in here, Zatchet is nine, so. <laughs> He's some crazy shit there, man. That's he didn't right. make that man a man. I had hundreds of bodies piled up by the time I was that age. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, well, let's go find that damn book. Would I know anything about space cannons? <laughs> Probably, um, although, uh, uh, yeah, canonically, I said this is more of a railgun earlier through Zatchet, and you said, some flippant thing about how you were master of railguns. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, <laughs> Was that your? You know, I just wanted to see if like I could roll to look at the book. Oh see. sure, you're welcome to do the same. I don't look at that book right there, boy. Make a little intelligence check. Well, I'm asking if I can see it first. Yeah, gotcha. here you go. I don't yeah. need to know more. Yeah, this guy like wrote in uh, caustic palms. One of them has like a bad drawing of the shadow assassin with like an ugly face, like Poor Doodle. Dude. Mm, less than him, but you too as well see like in the margins of volume two being referred to. I'm just gonna get past it back and act like it was gibberish. We have just narrowly avoided death. Uh, Hugh, superstar yes, athlete, fructose, <laughs> um, pulled the lever. Kronk and saved the day by turning the lights back on and no more spooky darkness, which was great. Um, you've all come literally face to face with yourselves in your own personal challenges, but here in the quiet, um, we are trying to find a way to get to the moon um, and have learned that there is a volume two in the instruction manual somewhere around here. Take it away. Is this uh, this owlbear page is Correct. accurate, I'm assuming? Yep, this can is I, Can I take a little stroll and go investigate like this big machine thing over here? Yeah. That one. Uh, are you, are you that, moving shark? That shark that's where I was going out. to. Here we can. Yes. Wait, let me take the a The two look. of us surely can figure out. I'll take a little out. meander over here. Um, you are looking at the machine. I'm going to peruse this little office area over here. Seven. Uh, oh, go ahead. Uh, tell me what you do in this moment, then I'll get back to it. Uh, I was going to use detect magic. See okay. See if I could sense the book. Are you doing a ritual cast? Yes. Okay. It takes 10 minutes, so this is perfect. So you begin to cast detect magic. Seven, you walk in here, and this place is a mess. Um, there are, uh, like, a like well manicured rug on the ground, but since then there are like a lot of like balls of paper like scattered around the room. On the desk is very clearly another book. It looks exactly like the one you were holding a minute ago. Uh, 
I will. Oh, I will. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm detecting magic. You can. <laughs> I forgot how, how Mongolian throat singer you do your your magics with. I I think to myself. He sounds so graceful during this <laughs> chance, and then I pick up the book. Okay, <laughs> you rifle through. Can I get an intelligence check? Yes. Proficiency and intelligence. Because you can read. Well, you know what? That's a five. It doesn't make any sense to you, frankly. Uh, more orbital calculations, and there's some things in here about opposing forces of cannonballs and gravity. It's just fucking insane, really. Um, it's written in Goblin. It's written in English. There's math that's scribbled out and over and over again, and even there's like arcane writing over some of those calculations that are like 3D that are just truly insane. But clearly this is volume two. I cannot compute this and I'm gonna bring it back to, I'm gonna bring the book back to everybody. Bring it back, I'll bring it back to him who's Mongolian throat singing. I can't really do it as well. Oh, oh, oh. oh hey man, what's up? I have this book. I believe it gives us the instructions we need. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I was doing this for. I'm glad you found it, I don't have to. Keep doing that. It sounded wonderful though. Thanks, man. I was hitting the overtones just like I like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you sing for you. Just, just, like, you know. just like mom used to be. <laughs> just like mom used to throat sing. And I'm gonna look at the book. I'm gonna look at the book in our Connor jacket. What's your mom's name? Uh probably Gretchen. Okay. Yeah. Well, she is, we're gnomes, so she has like 16 names. I called her Gretchen because it was my favorite name as a kid. Gretchen the Dumplin' Maker? No, she did so many things. <laughs> it's hard to put a one word. One label, right? It's hard to do. What if it was like actually an acronym? <laughs> it could be. Dumplin' yeah. Maker, no. Um, what was that check to read? Uh, 18. Oh my God, you've done it. You've read the book. Um, oh, I well, Honestly, I was yeah. afraid putting two book bosses in front of you guys, but yeah. here we are. Um, and while you also don't understand exactly everything in here, you have kind of the spark notes. Um, and it describes this absolutely insane process where you take a magnetic core, some kind of thin, um, like metal wrapped around a cylindrical object and process it through a magnetic machine. There's like a, a, a description of it. Um, and once this core is magnetized, you roll around in scrap, generating a ball of scrap load yourself into the cannon in this way and fire. There are also some other pages explaining like the firing routine. Um, and then at the very end, an explanation that this has been fully programmed in and automated, um, as well as some absolutely insane physics calculations involving the explosion ratio to counteract gravity of the moon. And at the very end of this, the takeaway you have is that uh, you would have to create yourself into a cannonball using some kind of machine that processes magnetics and junk and basically stick yourself into the machine and hit the button. Interesting. All right, Seven, I think I've got somewhat of a hold on how we're getting out of here. What have you gleaned? All right. Oh, whoa, <laughs> shit. Forgot about that word. <laughs> um, that's in a fifth grade textbook. <laughs> now, um, from what I understand, we have to find like something to magnetize us and we're gonna roll around, make ourselves into a big cannonball, and then we get in the cannon and it's already automated. It knows where to shoot us and everything, but we gotta get into the cannon and it's gonna blast us off to the moon. That seems inefficient. Seems really bad, especially for <laughs> party travel. But you know what? We gotta, we're gonna have to do it anyway. <laughs> let us go tell the party. Yeah, let's go find our boys and see if they know where to magnetize things. Here we go. Yeehaw! <laughs> we go into the room where uh, Shark and Bilar is, I think. Shark, Shark and Bilar, give me strength saving throws. Perfect. Actually, I think we're gonna sit right outside the room that they're in. <laughs> <laughs> I. We'll stay in. <laughs> oh, I rolled an at 20. Oh, baby. I'd just use his. <laughs> I think, so you have the most metal on you. When you come in here, there is a faint magnetic attraction of your gear to this machine, which is lightly humming. Um, and natural 20, you kind of see what's going on. You tell Shark, hey, there's something pulling us. Not dangerously so, but it is an active force working against you. And I'm going to nod my head with emptiness behind my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> And then assuming that they've come to tell us about this thing. Um. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was we figured out how to kind of get out of here. Yeah. We, need some, we need something to magnetize us. Uh, if we have a little rock. You won't believe it. I tell think them. I probably will. This thing magnetizes a lot of stuff. I'll just point at the big machine. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> All right. And I think we have to make a decision here. Oh, there's somebody in our party that knows a lot about magnets. 
and I don't know if we still. <laughs> <laughs> do you? Okay, but maybe, maybe we. Do, I like where your head is at, <laughs> so uh, quite a bit. Okay, but maybe we surprise him, mm -hmm. and we're like, we do every, we do this right now. We magnetize ourselves. And then we go to him and we're like, look at how much you've taught us about magnets. Oh, You're such a, teacher. a good teacher. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm on, I'm <laughs> yeah. on board. I, I like the plan. Mm -hmm. Hugh, Stewie, and Frey, what are you guys doing while they're <laughs> plotting? I'm up here in this top right little office here. I'd like to go and roll a perception check to see if I hear anything. <laughs> you, you haven't. Well, somebody's discussing magnets, brother. I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> go ahead. Um, Hugh, that is like. Um, a scattergram of calculations that show like trajectories for the cannon itself, and most of them are X'd out except for one. Um, and like there's like a, um, a trace paper note that says like current configurations, and there's like a ch uh, check mark on it. Cool. All right, so I've, I've taken that all in. <laughs> what, what is it? <laughs> it's a, f a 25. <laughs> <laughs> I think if you'll allow me, you guys are probably talking about the end of the battle, and oh, and I'm talking to my bird. You're probably talking <laughs> to the bird. I think he's trying to like be like, "Did you see how I saved lives?" And then all of a sudden, you're like, <laughs> I'm like monologuing. You're gonna shoot out, <laughs> and you know there are magnets afoot. I just magnets, <laughs> and I literally like, turn to the direction, <laughs> and like like there's a chill in all your spines, <laughs> like a needle no, pointing to like true north. I just like a magnet would do. Yeah, yeah, that's the joke. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for talk to your fucking bird, okay? How you doing, Gerald? Hey guys, I looked at some calculations a minute ago. You guys seen Zatchet? <laughs> no, I actually don't know where here the King of the Road is. He doesn't actually have to stay. He could probably out stay outside. He's nine yeah. years old. Oh. Hey, I can tell what's his name's coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna climb into the machine. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Perhaps uh, if we don't open the door, he'll think we've left. <laughs> it's about. I hope, I really hope he doesn't ruin his surprise <laughs> by trying to ru run in here. It is shark size. Are you sure you're going in? I'm going in. All right, give me constitution saving throw. Uh oh. <laughs> I wanted fun things to happen. <laughs> the machine that, that magnetizes when you <laughs> enter a machine. Constitution. You're good at these. Uh, 14. Oh, you're fine. You take three points of lightning damage. Oh, cool. As you indeed are magnetic, and I need a strength saving throw to not immediately stick to everything in the room. What lightning? Do yes. I sense that? I'm starting as to a, like as rattle. A, you're, 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 shark. I'm yeah, starting yeah, to like yeah, slide yeah. on the floor. Sort of <laughs> as you hear that, there's a. <laughs> Can I rage out of battle? <laughs> I, so normally, no, but I think you're so mad at this fight having gone wrong okay. that if you really want to spend a rage here- No, I no, I won't, I won't. Because <laughs> truly that was a comedy of sadness for sure. It was. Okay, I think we're all right. That's a 24. Okay, here's the good news. You're not magnetizing two things in the room because you can resist. The things in the room are magnetizing to you. So like out of the corners, like wrenches, rockets, gears, just come flying in and ting, 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 ting. You take like two points of bludgeoning damage. It's like, you're just like getting covered in crap. I should have raged. I stick to shark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I give him a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> it sticks there. Fuck. <laughs> Can I give an uh, investigation check to see if maybe there's a way to run the machine that doesn't blast us with uh, you, you don't need to do that because you have read the book and you know up there, like where that like blue dome is, there are special cannonballs that are like the core that you're supposed oh, okay. to pass through the machine. These become magnetized and gotcha. become the center. Right. In your case, uh, who knows? I you can bring get it in the without door. a cannonball. <laughs> okay, you can bring, break it down the door. Did you guys lock it or just close it? It doesn't matter. <laughs> there are magnets. How are you going to break it? Uh, I'm going to use my war hammer. I'm going <laughs> to use it as a, what are those called? Battering, battering ram. ram. Battering give me ram. athletics at advantage then if you want to just bash it yeah. down. Do I have to see door? things? There's like a hatch there. Yeah, I think uh, it's like this like slides closed. Kind of yeah. like a cartoon. Oh, okay. I think it's kind of like Kool-Aid Man Walk through, through, through <laughs> yeah. the wall kind of thing. 16. As he goes to batter it, I open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I think there's like, know, these, are, these are double doors. Yeah, I'm it was some time. I think you hit it hard and like the oh, it starts yeah. to buckle 
And then you go around for round two and he just okay. hears Johnny. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you hadn't got to it yet, I was gonna like start like like chopping at the door and be like, magnets, here's magnets. <laughs> yeah, and both of you do it at the same time. And there's like, <laughs> just... wait, do we repel each other? I actually think that you canonically are currently attracting, uh, and he's currently, I guess, I guess. Yeah. Are you attracted the, to me? There's like depends what <laughs> poles are. Yeah, th I yeah. think I think that yeah, there's currently there's like a foot of space you guys can't breach. Well now I'm scared that we have to sit with seven being pulled between the two of them. <laughs> Does seven go horizontal then? <laughs> He's just He's just <laughs> oh I got you, I got you, I got you. Wait. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't really describe it, but I just feel like I can't get Close, close to you right now. I can't describe it, but this is the best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Magnets. How do they win, baby? Um, all right, so I, I'd have to say I'm ready to hop in a cannon. Well, you need to, I think we need to get you like, you got to roll around in some scrap metal so that, you, you know, you're like a cannonball. You're not just oh, a I see. man who is Magnet. I gotcha. Otherwise, the Magnet doesn't really matter. Just closer than Penny, I guess. <laughs> No, like actually. Oh, yeah, legitimately. for real. Yeah. Within the notes, there were like mm. an explanation that there's like a big pile, like junk pile, like the Star Wars trash chute, basically down below. All right, I think you guys need to go down that ladder we opened and mm -hmm. just, you know, see if maybe you can uh, roll around at some of that scrap. See, come back and see if you look like a big blueberry or something made of scrap. All right, I'm going to run downstairs and roll in scrap. What the fuck is okay. going on? <laughs> There are magnets. You're you're acting all weird. And I, telling me. I am a magnet. I want to be clear. You want to go down the ladder, and then become a cannonball to where you can't see or interact with the outside world while you're on the bottom level of this base. Is that correct? If all that it, just took it away from me. Put it that way. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's a you. You kind of open the trash room, and there's just like a moment where you hear like a lot of like clattering. Uh, there's a sea of metal based trash in front of you. What do you oh. do? I'm gonna roll in it, but I'd like to take two wrenches and put them here so I can look at the wrenches. <laughs> okay. Like little goggles. You make wrench goggles and you jump in. Um, everyone from above hears a horrible crashing noise. Um, you don't become a cannonball, you become an amorphous monster of junk. Uh, as I think you've now realized that this machine was designed to make small magnetic centers and not giant bugbear magnetic centers as most of the trash in the room seals you in. Hmm. Do I see this? Help! <laughs> hey, Before I, you're the magnet guy. So I'd like to think that I saw this. Yeah. I, this is something we used to do on my home world. Oh, it's <laughs> scrap wrestle. Mm. And I'm gonna think, why didn't you fucking tell me it was a scrap wrestler? And I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna get covered in bullshit. And we're gonna, I'm just gonna go in at him. Okay, you wanna actually wrestle? Yeah, dude. If he navigates his way through the magnetic, it's like, it's like rock 'em sock 'em robots. Are you down? Wait, so can't they not? Well, touch he doesn't each know other. what's going on. They can't not touch each other in regular sense. I think they probably could like punch each other with the metal on them. If you want to give me contested athletics, we'll see how this goes. Keep with the fate of the universe know what's going on hanging yet. in the balance, yeah. our boys rock 'em sock 'em junk bots at the bottom of the mystery base. You didn't tell me you were a junk wrestler. You said if, athletics. Contested athletics. If you guys would like, you're welcome to go down or interact with the machine while they're doing this. But you do hear like the crashing of metal from down below in the base. I'm gonna work on getting to the moon. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm just gonna, gonna like go up to him and kind of like shove him towards the <laughs> yeah, stuff I'm we're gonna, supposed I'm to gonna, be I'm doing. I'm gonna huddle everyone together and be like, "All right, you guys are the big dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I really got to actually trust to get this thing done." <laughs> 17. 21? <laughs> he, he beats you, but it's not quite that handily. Um, I, I think, I you know. I it differently. <laughs> well, that's funny, because I'm going to use this for eight. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's really cute. How does the, how do you win? What is I like to think it's like like Popeye versus, uh, what's his nuts, the bigger guy? Bluto. Yeah, he just fucking, and I just, ooh. Okay. But like, I'm fine, because we're covered in junk. Yeah, right. and I think right. him, yeah. him right. making yeah. that yeah. contact, yeah. like the, the actual magnets, like, making contact kind of has a moment of like resetting the temporary charge. So you discharge everything. There's like a shotgun blast, the junk flying off you uh, and you are back to normal. So a little bit of uh, oh. caution has done there there. But why didn't you tell me? Took away my magnet. <laughs> Wait, he lost? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. he discharged his, it was too much. sadly it. pressing a wrench against me and watching it drop to the floor. <laughs> <laughs> well, how did you, how did you, did you always have that? No, I crawled in a little tube upstairs. 
You're telling me there's tubes giving away the secret yeah, to my fucking people? There's magnet tubes upstairs. Hey team, what's up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, all right, guys. Now that they're distracted, <laughs> yes. I'm gonna walk over and I'm gonna be like, I got these crystals just here. I'm gonna toss them to everybody. I'm gonna be like, just slide these things through the machine and it's gonna charge them up real nice for us. We're gonna be like Shark was, but way, way less powerful. We're not gonna implode the room by being in here. <laughs> We're not gonna make a neutron star or anything. Do you send one through? Oh yeah, I send a little guy through. Cool, comes out the other end. It is clearly magnetic. Some smaller things are kind of being picked up, but most of them gone because Shark did a Roomba through here with his uh, magneto powers. Um, and yeah, you're feeling kind of your hair staying up a little, a little bit of that, but you have one core currently. I like to think I'm like, right, I'm like, I end up, I'm like right behind him out of nowhere. Here comes a dog. <laughs> you feel like Foray's watching you, but you can't quite see him. You know? <laughs> Yo, that tickles. <laughs> Seems yeah. like uh, it's ionizing the iron in the blood. Okay, I follow his, and I just put my little crystal through, grab okay. it, I'm holding yep. one. You got a cord. I'll do the same. Yeah. Would there be any adverse effects to me doing that? Good question. Okay, well, I'll, can do, I, it. I'll do it anyway. Can I do a second one for yeah. him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then I'll take the, uh, the charge one, and I'll just kind of like stick it to him. Yeah, it's just, okay. just chilling. Yeah, um, I think locally, whatever system it's by probably malfunctions. Uh, like if he puts it on your shoulder, like, but yeah. there's no, it probably hurts yeah. him, doesn't it? And then I'll take it off, <laughs> karate chopping. Like, and then I'll put it back on, and I'll take it off again. <laughs> and, like, and then I'll stick it to my, my, my plate. <laughs> Did, was your iPod on your hand? It was like, I, I can't remember if, it, if it, the headphones came out of my chest or my... I, Either, I think it was your chest. It was, you probably close closer to hear like, what's the least played song you would have on your iPod? Uh, live in La Vida Loca. <laughs> <laughs> That's very big. You just hear, <laughs> every time you put the name. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, perfect. So we have a couple, I assume the rest of you are gonna follow suit. In my back. I'm going, going through the yes. two. Yeah. You guys have, <laughs> I'm not even trolling. Okay. <laughs> I, I went over, I flipped a coin, and landed me, on heads. I'm before going. he goes through, I throw my rock through, so I have one. You get the rock through. Constitution as, saving throw. I see him walking over, and I'm like, I just start motioning everybody out like a fire. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna my calculations are the correct. Revolver. I'm saying this like, as I'm going in. Either my poles will flip, or I'm fucked. You don't want to ruin your powers. Son of a bitch. He ruined his powers. Uh, it is he lost them. Yeah. eight. You have created one, two, three, four, five, six cores, and you going through, you hear a horrible groaning and the machine explodes. That's where I threw my rock through. <laughs> great, great call, Shark. You might not be intelligent, but you are smart. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sim. Well, sir, now what? I'm magnetic myself, so I'll be fine. Indeed, in theory. Mm -hmm. Whoops. <laughs> where else would follow us? All right, let's go back down where they were doing their junk wrestling, but <laughs> we're not gonna do all that. Perkish we're just gonna stick wrestling. these things in there and pick up as much scrap as we can. Just enough to blast us out of here towards the moon. I think as you're like flipping through the pages, trying to figure out exactly the process, you note that she brought the junk outside first mm -hmm. so that you guys didn't have to climb ladders as cannonballs. Oh. All right, shark, Valar, big dogs. You guys want to bring up a little bit of scrap for us so that we don't have to all climb down there? Sure. For some of the smaller bulky. This is all one good for. There's a, um, like a straining uh, of like the roof above you and the whole roof moves. Um, and as the like roof is sliding aside, you see Dee Dee and Zatchet looking down and she's like, oh dearies, I got the roof open. Wow. There's a the shred. Zatchet's there? He helped. She are you sure? How we got rid of him? <laughs> Mom, push him. <laughs> what? <laughs> nothing, nothing, mother. I just had to hobble it. We could use you as a wheelbarrow because you can carry like 350 pounds. You can oh, carry yeah. more weight than everybody else. I oh, thought, I thought you were pointing at me. I was like, <laughs> fuck no. I do have powerful build, but, never, 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 but how do we take a wheelbarrow up a ladder? It's him and he's, he, he's like a, uh, um, yeah, anthropomorphic. He can just, as I hold his legs up, it, it just let it happen. Sure. Okay. I mean, is there something I could turn into that would 
be good at carrying things. Yeah, a like a dragon. A kangaroo. A I'm sure you've seen a donkey. True. <laughs> I, I, I cannot that, believe you've seen a reindeer. A magical true. That's true. That's true. You know what? Yeah, I'll I'll uh I'll wild shape into a reindeer. Okay. I'll just, now what? <laughs> yeah. I just kind of stare at Foray and just. <laughs> Holy shit! I'm turned does, on. Wait, does this reindeer fly? Is it like a fantasy reindeer? Can it use ladders? I don't. This is where I'm at. I think while they're doing this, I'm just like yeah, I'm just piles of scrap. I'm just like going up and down the ladder, moving Sick, everything. Yeah, I'm check. Oh, you're. I have fun, to be smart dude. to move stuff. Just humor me, and I'll give you proficiency. You're getting tight. What now. does that mean? Uh, add two to your roll. Okay, so that's a 13. Well, you remember there are several cranes in this base. Oh. And I moved the levers once. So, like, I have I picked one group of scrap up, and I get to the top, and I, like, see the crane. <laughs> and so I just, like, drop it all on my feet. And I'm just, like, <laughs> I scoot over there because I remember the controls, and I'm just, like, I forgot. My bad. <laughs> I'm on the back of seven, like like trying to figure out these levers. Like I'm, yes, I'm trying to do like a very very careful maneuver where I grab just four A off of the back, <laughs> like a crane game off the back of seven. Like he can handle that. Oh, I'm just trying man. To, I pick him up, move him away, then I just grab a big pile of junk, swing it over here, and plop it kind of where Hugh was incapacitated. Their industrial space unloading cranes does not take long to move enough junk up top for all six of you to have cannonballs and whatever you're gonna do. <laughs> he can do it, he's a magnetized guy. He believes. He's the smartest one in the group. That's true. We say. He can't read. <laughs> yes, I can. No, sorry. He can decide for pictures He's though. got really good recall. He, <laughs> yeah. Just not in the moment. Okay, junk's on the surface, what are you gonna do? Gonna shove my rock in there, see what happens. Yep, starts to collect sheet metal, scraps, those kinds of things. I think I'm just like watching him and doing what he's doing. Like, yeah, like, sure. like kind of like play doing the I'm stuff like together onto the I've ball. de-deered at this point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the same. Okay. Everyone's basically building their snowball junk. Uh, at some point, you will get enclosed in this pile of junk. Is there anything anyone wants to do before that happens? Uh, I'm going to call to Dee Dee and Zach and be like, can you guys come down here? We need someone to work the cannon for us so they can blast us off. Oh, sure, dears. Although um, I uh, I have good news. There are actually a couple of spare cannonballs up here. So uh, is it okay if we come along with you? You can come along. Yeah. 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 Make sure Zachit's coming. No. Yeah, I've got a, and she kind of points like uh, to like a papoose she made. And she's like, I got like a, a holster for the little guy. Oh. Do you guys want to rest for a bit? Or like a whole day? <laughs> <laughs> I do, actually. I could yes. take the biggest I am actually ever. very sleepy now that yeah. you say. <laughs> Me too. That's crazy. Uh, <clears throat> in the middle of that, I'm actually making an Iron Man suit because mine is not, <laughs> mine's not as sewn as my whole body. So you I built this out of scrap in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I'm and go over I figured since it doesn't yeah. have, it's a rail gun, it doesn't have to have to, a gas seal. so. So I think this is fine if you guys do want a long rest, but it will you'll have to spend most of the rest of the night here and into the morning to kind of gain the full thing. We'll, we'll do some brief downtime, which means you guys have a little time to play around in the facility if you want. Do what you need to do. Um, in your case, I want to shoot, I don't even know, uh, caster, like a spell attack to see how well you form your own cannonball at the end of this. I think your downtime, other than resting, is going to be trying to figure out if you can match the calculations like this machine because it's set to the specifics. I, I will go. I will forego the entire rest if you allow me. Whoa, no sleep? Yeah, I'm good. That means you won't be able to cast any spells, brother. I still have. I still have three spells uncasted. I, I think it's less of a tireless study and more of a you've got to perform correctly in the moment. Yep. So I think sleep is probably part of that. Okay. So uh, sorry. What kind of check did you want again? Give me like a spell attack roll. Okay. Um, what are the rest of you guys doing in your downtime? I was gonna say, how did the cannon work exactly? Like. You just climb in and then someone pushes a button and it shoots. We don't have to do any calculations for it. It's all pre, okay. like, um, put in there. That um, matches your understanding too from the trajectory table where you saw a lot of them have been like crossed out. There were configurations in the past. Do you think so the I'm goblin gonna... lady's on the moon, Hemp? Huh? Do you think the goblin lady's on the moon? Dude, I hope she's so bad. <laughs> I hope she's so fine. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, everyone's like making camp or whatever. I'm gonna put my arm around Hemp and kind of like walk him away from the group. <laughs> And I'm gonna like, under my breath, say, who's gonna push the last button? I was really hoping it was gonna be Zatchet. <laughs> but I also think he should come to the moon. 
because a lot of things get happen up on the moon, you know? <laughs> it's dangerous from what that vision you were talking about. A lot of things could happen up there, especially to a terrible little idiot. <laughs> 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 maybe you could push it with Mage Hand? I was gonna say maybe Dee Dee could be useful up there and probably knows some of them, but she might be the one. She's really the only one I trust to be intelligent enough to like make sure everything's good. I'm not in this like conversation, that. right? Um, I don't think so. I was trying to like hide <laughs> the fact that someone might have to be left behind. Yeah. <laughs> um, question, DM, out of character question. Can Maximo push a button? <laughs> you can't. Go ahead. I was about to say I have my bird too. Would you be okay with leaving your bird? I, I could not really, but he can but just oh, use mage hand. Allow I, me I to jump it. in. Um, you remember, learn it's fully automated. Once you load the cannon, it will fire itself. Oh, uh, okay. because, that because and, and I think to add color to what you've read, she was alone, so she could not push her own. Mm, uh, sure. okay. Also, I just want to point out, we could have made like a Rube Goldberg machine. I'm making an Iron Man suit over here. Where we find. <laughs> it's true. Mm. But yes, you're confident based on what you read in her account, escaping the Shadow Assassin, that. She set it up and no one has messed with it since. You guys were out there and it still had the firing sequence. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll be fine as long as we climb in. But we have to be ready as soon as we get in there because I think it automated just blasts yep. off. Also, the Shadow Assassin guy could still be here completely. So we do have to keep an eye out while we sleep very <laughs> good. Go invisible, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do have Maximo just like always hanging around watching. Perfect. What else are you guys doing in the downtime? Um, I'm going to walk to the pile of scrap and I'm going to roll a perception check to see if I can find any like scrapped Warforge units. Ooh. Ooh. Well, bam. Mm. We're gonna lead a battle angel scene. That's a 13. <laughs> I'll give you advantage because you're looking for something you're very familiar with. That's a 17. Wait, 19. Oh, you're confident that there are no Warforged here. <laughs> Damn. Thought I'd find a, a brethren. Can I go? Can I go into the office and check for spells? See if there's like mm. anything I recognize. Okay, go ahead. Give me an investigation. I want to put my arm around Seven and say, I'm your brother. <laughs> you guys know that scene from the office when Dwight has the CPR? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be me with scrap on me when looking at you. <laughs> 21. Nothing here. Oh. <laughs> good so roll. Sad. What manufacturing facility were you crafted in, Shark? Hell. I. It's real? It is, I'm from there. <laughs> I am from hell. It's not a good place. Interesting. <laughs> well, good you know, talk. Not very chatty today. I'm going to walk up to Seven and be like, they didn't have any spells here. Uh, in, actually, now that you had some time to study the room, pretty much anything of actual value is gone from this room. Um, you like where the dust has been sitting, you know there was a bunch more books and scrolls. Mm. They have been taken from this place. They took all my learning from me. <laughs> Perhaps there will be special moon spells you can learn. Yeah. You, Super cool moon spells. That'd be nice. Did you find anything? No. Oh. Did you look for anything? I did. What? I, I looked for other me's, but but dead. That's dark. <laughs> That's <laughs> dark. Yeah, it's boy. not a spell. It's it's not missing a spell. It's a little bit it's a little bit more dreary than that. Yeah, but maybe I could find a spell that finds your brothers. <laughs> Let me know if you do that. <laughs> Let me know if you, if you come across <laughs> that. Cool. Now I'm going to feel a little uncomfortable. I'm going to saunter away really quick and be like, Dee Dee. <laughs> Was I at your side of that? Um, no, I think you're hard at work in the trash pile. Cool. You want to do something with Dee Dee? No, I'm just going to say hi to her. Oh, got it. Um, she's busy explaining to Zatch how to tuck and roll because she's getting into cannonball with him. Um, mm -hmm. But otherwise, they're just going to spend the rest of the night um, and trying to make somewhere to sleep, get some rest with a big cannibal trip in the morning. How are they getting there without the fact that the rocks that, like the machine that makes the rocks spread? Oh, they found some on the surface. Yeah. When oh, they were looking okay. around uh, by the like hatch controls. Oh, they already made ones, yeah. Perfect. Anyone else want to do anything tonight? I'm going to go sleep. Is anyone taking lunch? Maximo. Centuries rest. Maximo oh, is as well. Okay. And unless there's anything else, we'll fast forward. I'm going yeah. to sleep. Excellent. <laughs> uh oh. Morning comes. <laughs> 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 
That was, that was refreshing. Mm -hmm. You guys all unrested. Good morning, Ooh. everybody. Good hey, morning, everyone. Let's go to the moon. Let's fucking blast off. I can barely sleep. I was so excited. <laughs> You're lying to me, man. I saw you out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready for the moon, too. Cannonball time? Cannonball, Cannonball. time. Okay. Who is going first? Foray. I oh, trust you so hard right now, man. You're the magnet guy. You I son of a bitch. I gotta double check the trajectories, man. I can't go first. <laughs> That's good. Honestly, I thought you were brave. I thought you were a veteran. <laughs> oh, don't I believe it. Cool. I believe it. I believe it. I'm going up like Iron Man, bro. So okay. You, or so not uh, the Iron Giant. Describe bro. your can die is your fault. Describe your cannonball no, process. Not. Um Wait, literally the Iron Giant, bro. I'm like this. Cannibals. I'm just and I, I get in the rail gun, like loaded up, like planking. Okay. What they found them? But yeah, no, but they are amazing. There were only two? Yeah. It sounded like there was only one. No one asked. Uh -huh. All right, give me a countdown. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if I care. <laughs> I'm like, everybody he's should. Get, he's getting in. He's like, boom, boom, with all this like junk and scrap in like a humanoid shape. And Dee Dee like holds up an extra one too. He's like, did he need this? And like you hear the, the cannon rail gun. Uh, which is like a basically uh, enormous metal cylinder in the sky with like maybe like rings of some kind, and there's like a low thrumming and humming as like light kind of travels up and like goes in like a spiral formation. And for a, I need a caster check again. I know you made one for the cannonball. I just want to know what your like how cool your launch is. <laughs> no, it's gonna be great. You <laughs> know. It's straight cut. Cred depends on this roll. <laughs> oh no. You have inspiration. I know, that's the part. He's thinking about it. <laughs> hmm. Son of a bitch. 22. Again. Back uh, to back. Do you say something? What do you do? <laughs> to infinity and beyond. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, redact that. We don't want to piss off the mouse, but... All right, all right. Um, uh, friend. No. <laughs> all right. He says, two friend and friends, and uh, he gets in, he goes, Froom, and he goes flying off into the atmosphere, and with a Team Rocket twinkle, he's gone in an instant. Am I alive? Are you alive? Sick. So was that the goal, just to shoot him? <laughs> yeah, we can, go, we can go home now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Campaign's over, guys. We're in spaceport. <laughs> this has been the longest practical joke. You're on candid camera, baby. We got you. <laughs> Gil Roth's on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> he sees the twinkle in the distance, that son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We're like, I'm sitting down like, no one wants to be alone with him up there, do they? <laughs> no one else wants to go? Uh, uh, I begrudgingly walk over towards it and I've got my little pile Deanie, of everything. Deanie puts her hand on her shoulder. I can go next year. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, and then she just does one of those like cartoon dives into the junk and just rolls around. And she's like, oh, could you push me? Okay. <laughs> kind of push her so <laughs> she gets in. <laughs> Whoa. So anyways, the best thing about magnets is. <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I'll climb in. All righty. I'll go up. How do you cannibal? Uh, I'll just make myself into a little liquid after I roll around a little bit so I don't get concussed or something if it's a bumpy ride. Smart. Uh, you do that, you roll yourself in and <laughs> I'm like, all right, shark. I don't trust that the invisible freak's not around here, so I'm gonna stay back with you. And I was gonna say, well, that's why I trust you to make sure these calculations are right on this damn screen. <laughs> oh God, we sent them all to the wrong place. You're all good. No, don't. No, I trust you on this one. Just keep an eye out for that bad guy. If he tries uh, to get in there, don't let him. Yeah, you know, I'll I'll just stand at the ready with my axe. And I'll go next. <laughs> I just climb in, and I just kind of grin a little bit. I'm like, this is not gonna work. <laughs> I never calculated Sweet the, release. The, light, yeah, the, the lightness. You'll either get there or you'll die. I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Bing, you're on. That's what I always say about us flying. Yeah, it's 50-50. We either get there or everybody cool around us is dead. Like, who cares? Exactly. That's a good I'll, way of looking uh, at it. Sorry, I'll hop in next. 
Anything you want to do to send off? I'll, uh, Seven's got no swag, so he doesn't do like a cannibal or anything. He just like pencil dives in okay. the trash. No, and then- I'm gonna yell Seven, wait. Before you jump in, I'm gonna kiss him on the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't stick. Matt's kissing a lot of people today. Just I mean, so. shark. Then I jump in and I think to myself, Good perhaps job. if they find my remains, they will place my central processing unit in another model. And then I go. <laughs> <laughs> Your parting thought is reincarnation as you just whoop, bing. <laughs> yep. Um, I follow seven and I just hold I actually grab my bird, whose name is Harold, by the way. Oh and big we, reveal. we jump into the cannon. You make your cannonball? <laughs> jump. After you button. <laughs> I'm look at him and like and then I'm just gonna really unceremoniously just like go into the trash. No, no, nothing flashy. He jumps into the trash um, and he makes his cannonball and he can no longer see, right? He can kind of roll his way. Shark, at the entrance to the staircase, there is Shadow Shark just standing there looking at you. Oh, might not be bad. Oh, you can't see shit. Uh-huh. You're gonna kiss him too? <laughs> it's. I would say he's probably like 40 or 50 feet away. Uh, it's dayish time now. Okay. Um, so it's right out here. So he's kind of standing in the shadowed stairway, just staring at you. Gotcha. I'm gonna, I guess, push you in. <laughs> and I'm gonna start roll. Is he like just standing still? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm gonna start slowly clamping some trash on me then. Okay. Uh, you. So you get in. Bing. You jump in. And as soon as you start to make this cannonball and there is a lack of daylight, yourself joins you on the other end of the cannonball and says, you know this doesn't end well, right? What happens? Case closed, man. Oh, fuck. <laughs> well, see you on the other side, brother. <laughs> Wait, you son of a... <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, and then one by one, you guys kind of streak through the stars. Um, and the ride is unbelievably fast. Um, it is the most intense thing you've ever felt for a moment. And then there's like this strange weightless feeling um, and a stabilization. And one by one in the order that you arrive, you all pop out and I will describe how in just a moment. On your map. Yo, we made it. The moon. Uh, and you appear in a place that the bad DM did not put you, which is down here at the bottom. And the method in which you appear is almost Looney Tunes. As soon as the shell of your cannonballs each impact, like right, right before they hit the ground, they explode apart and the forces neutralize in such a way where it's like, you know, when cartoon characters step off a cliff. And they like have a moment of like just suspended animation. <laughs> that is what happens to each of you when the cannonballs <laughs> shatter. We get like Gmod spawned in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. We're on the moon. I just go like. From like the fourth, like with my face getting stuck back. I, I thought you landed on the moon, looked at us, and went. <laughs> <laughs> no, the velocities ruined his speech pattern. <laughs> Fucked up. Fix <laughs> so. Well, that's how you detect magic on the moon. It's different. Lunar it's magic, different. you know, yeah. The, the, <laughs> I would call it the libido. The albedo is so different up here. Seven, it changes magic. <laughs> You have a feeling as you are leaving the atmosphere of losing a best friend. Um, there is a waning sensation in the magic that remember you have been blessed by this land. Um, and you have almost a memory of while you were asleep, um, a like little vine kind of grew up into your pouch and there are a dozen or more leaves of the first tree. Um, and you understand that they are a gift and that you should use them when you impact the moon. You land and arrive and you, you can hold your breath, but I don't think the rest of you can. And there is no atmosphere here. You are reminded of this in this moment, but I'll give the control back to you guys. <coughs> uh, could I perhaps take these leaves. They might help you breathe. Gotta oh, fucking eat it. <laughs> you start to chew it like gum, and there's like a <laughs> and like air explodes all around. <gasps> Holy fuck! Thanks. I'm gonna <laughs> see that. I'm just start shoving it. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look like how much like time is in the bubble. 
What his bubble or? Yeah, yeah. Like like. Wait, only he got a leaf. He got one from seven. I think he was offering them like his. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying like okay, so I eat one, and how much time? Like how much air do I have? Like, it is it is an overwhelming and encapsulating amount of air. It is still going. I'm gonna grab one needed too. Okay. <laughs> how many? How many do you have? Like a ton? A fuck ton? Probably like three dozen. I'll grab one or two extras mm. just to be safe. Cool leaves, Tin Man. What's where's that dog at that you had a little while ago? The king of the road? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he would have gone in the cool gang, which is uh, the people who did not try to form Rock'em Sock'em Robots. Uh, we'll go with this, and we'll go with this. Why Actually, we'll go with the cool gang. gang. And we'll go with... That's <laughs> <laughs> yes. weird. He's the other gang. They <laughs> come in as well. I miss that little guy. <laughs> you make him breathe fire. <laughs> Can I'm gonna give the king of the road a leaf as well. <laughs> okay. uh, and I'm, then, I'm gonna offer all of them. Leaves. Okay, they they individually start eating, and all those actions going. <laughs> yeah, make him work for it. Actually, the king of the road in um, uh, in thanks, he will go you know, like happily uh, breathing fire. It is cool every time. It is always <laughs> so cool. What you guys see as you arrive is way. Up this hill, um, there's an enormous like junk pile that's at like Compass Rose. There, on the top of that cliff, is a goblin, uh, as well as kind of a larger looking man. Well, let's go see what those guys are about. That may is, be that. Is, this, is that the spot that I saw? Or is it's hard to tell, but uh, I'll let you know when you get closer if you're, that's the plan. Okay, there's, there's no big plan. I'm just curious. Did the one, could, well, sorry. Go ahead, Aaron. No, you first. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Does the, did the wanted poster we saw have a, uh, a picture, picture of Gilroth? Yep. Oh, can we just perception check to see if... I know we're well, kind we of can far. just walk up, can we just walk yeah. to them? They are, they are looking at you. It's clear that you did not oh, arrive yeah. in a stealthy manner. Yeah, yeah we can just walk <laughs> well, over to gonna, them. I'll wave it and then start moving toward them. I'll blow a kiss, yeah. Okay. Um, they are wearing, like, translucent plastic suits that are, like, form-fitting, um, but... When you guys have gotten closer now, you do indeed see these two people. Um, the larger man is wearing like a, what appears to be like an older wrestling suit of like spandex of pastel gold and purple. He's a more rotund-esque figure with a very small cape um, and what looks to be maybe like a jacket as well. Um, the only thing that breaks up this amazing outfit is the dried blood from the obviously healed over wounds. It is clear he's been in multiple fights. Um, his hair is shaved tight. Uh, looks like maybe it wasn't done on purpose. There are some kind of burns there. Um, and his eyes, now a bright steel blue, far different from the wanted poster of a man you know as Gilroth Rolodex. Beside him is a goblin who is actually of a surprising height. Um, she is probably closer to yours, actually. She wears a patchwork white coat um, that has been mended and repaired multiple times with different fabrics and threads. She has a tight white braid um, and she is just completely expressionless, except for the eye patch she wears on one side. Um, all of those details fall away when what you notice being the most obvious thing that jumps out is her entire right side of her body is just covered in glowing like script uh, that appears to be like writing and rewriting um, constantly. There's some kind of magic at work there as well. Um, it spills out over her, like um, like under her lab coat, like on her hand and her face. Um, and she kind of looks at all of you and says, the cannon, you must have been to the facility. You've read my, my book. You, ah, there it is. I think you have made it here because you need to speak to me, which means that you're either in trouble or you're seeking the bounty. Which one is it? Um, I actually don't. I didn't. This wasn't in the book. This is like stuff that we knew before that, which I did forget. But <laughs> the book we did. I did read the book. I saw all the. Your calculations were crazy. I didn't know the whole. They were correct. Yes. They were very correct. But I just don't Indeed. understand like the astronomical, you know, like, aspect of it. Great, but you made it here in one piece, which means you're above average intelligence. And I assume you have a very high reading comprehension level to make it here in one piece. Yes, I, I, can, I can read. <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> fix my jacket, <laughs> like my shirt, and be like, Tech huh, evil good. above average. <laughs> okay. What is that? <laughs> Tech evil and good. <laughs> okay. Um, there are no influences of celestial, undead, fiendish, any evils or goods that you may come across in a normal place. Uh, not ones you would expect from a goblin or a human. Oh, I can't check on the uh, the writing. <clears throat> she kind of check on the what? On um, the writing on her, the script on her arm. Sure. Um, we'll give you a move in just a second. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I will say when you go to cast the spell, she says, "No, I'm not evil. I'm not good. Um, I'm simply a person with the ability to read the universe in its most raw form." These fuckers got walls. 
Um, at that point, the bigger man kind of pushes her aside and says, well, brother, <clears throat> <laughs> yes, you got me. Are we going to the big, the big jail? What's going on here? Well, I want to talk to the goblin first. Step aside. You said you can read the universe. Oh, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Why? I'm, I'm Gilroth freaking Rolodex. Yes, I'm Hugh Fructos. I want to talk to that lady. Only if I can shake your hand. Yeah. Hey, brother. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. You want to go to the mat with the script there? The universe. <laughs> What? Were you wrestling? No, I want to talk to her. Oh, God darn. All right. Be well, I'm going to go later. All right, fine. Now wrestle, you big dog. Give no. me some slime. Get in there. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna, I mean, I guess I'll step aside then. Um, the <laughs> He's a lot of Quite. Um, he has a flair for the dramatic, but I uh, digress. You are, oh, something different. Yeah, Hugh Fructos. You said you can read the universe? Uh, it's a, an oversimplification of a quantum equation that I can balance at light speed, yes. So, that I mean, you know why we're here? Well, I, I've guessed in the two most likely circumstances that you're in trouble or cashing in a balance. But uh, if there's a third option on the table, it defies all logic. What's in my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong answers, unfortunately. Classic. She's, she's a fraud. <laughs> she's a fucking fraud. Uh, was there a point to this? I'm in the middle of building a spaceship. No, no, no. We're, we're here for the bounty on Rolodex, actually. <laughs> He's actually fucking lying big time to you. It's actually really funny when he does that, usually. But I'm going to ask, what's that all What's that all arcane stuff on you right now? <laughs> what was the bounty on Rolodex? He's like the jokester of the group. Both of those two. They love joking. Uh, the script is a manifestation of the ability that I was given as I was awoken in my true form. Uh, I've always been a curious person, but uh, and like while she's talking, she's like rapidly writing down calculations and like surveying the thing behind them. Mm -hmm. Now that she's doing that, you actually can see there is like what appears to be a craft of some kind buried in a pile of junk. Uh, yes, sorry, I was waking with this ability. Um, trying to do some field calculations. Sorry, yes, we need a way to sit back. I'm sorry, was I boring you? No, no, I, I, I'm entranced by that. I was just letting my friends know that if they don't have to listen to me. Excellent, are you here to help or her? I don't know. Help. Let's get this on if we need to. Can I walk up to Gilroth? And, yes. And ask him. <laughs> sorry, I thought I'm sorry. Continue, continue. I'm sorry. Continue. Continue. I'm sorry. Continue. 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 Is this a good berry play? No. Okay. No, no. I mean, she's there. No, I, I didn't mean to interrupt. That's my bad. There isn't an interruption here. I demand that you have this Gilroth moment. I was just going to inquire why he is wanted in the first place. And he kind of gets a look of relief. Okay. Tell you what, brother. <clears throat> if you're asking. Probably you got a bit of brains in you. <clears throat> okay, so I don't know if you know this, Gilroth Rolodex, the most powerful auditor in the entire universe, maybe multiple universes. And one time I audited a little bit too far, <clears throat> followed some threads, saw some things that I shouldn't have seen, and uh, well, I came across an account that did not balance in any amount of planets or places or money, and it was just a big old interesting question mark on the balance sheet, and I tell you what, the name of that account was something called a UFR. It was a universal foundational relic of some kind. And I, I was sitting there thinking, what the fuck is that? Because that sounds like the most interesting thing I've ever heard. And well, no sooner did I do that, but there came a knock on the door. And all of a sudden, everybody wants a piece of Mr. Gill off Lodex. And I'm just sitting there thinking, what the fuck, man? And I just, mm. anyway, so I started getting on the run. And next thing I know, I'm a wanted man. And I'm, I'm just I'm struggling here. And, and I, I came to my friend, Lorenz, who I've worked with and saved her life in the past. And now she's building me a damn spaceship so I can escape from whoever is hunting me down. But I'm going to find that fucking thing. And I'm going to cash it in for a favor. You know what I mean? Some kind of universal foundational relic. That's got to be big. You, I'm are, you are an auditor and a wrestler. Well, <laughs> one of them is my passion. And the other one's not. Perhaps this is why we were sent to find you. What do you mean, brother? I look over to Hugh because I know Hugh has the piece of paper. Oh, yeah. We got this from a cosmic museum. You ever heard of it? Uh, he goes, <laughs> uh, but Lorenz, the goblin's face. Ah, yes. Okay, the third option behind the door. Some kind of interdimensional interference from a force. Uh, mission of some kind, some kind of meddling deity, some kind of force. Okay, no, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, so you guys are on what, like a save the universe mission? Well, I'm not really saving the universe. I kind of kill a lot of people, but if it ends up saving the universe, it's a good byproduct of my work. Hey, if the equation balance is 51%, 49%, I think that's a win. Yep, fist bump. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you were saving the universe, what was this thing? That's just our mission. Shark knows more about it. Yeah, we 
We found him. Um, I guess, where are we supposed to do? Help him? What's the paper say? It said find him. But I'm looking Save him. Oh, it did save. say save him. All right, cool. Answer the question. All right. Oh, dear. Um, who are your friends? And she walks over to Stan by the two of them. And Bilar, you immediately recognize the scene that you've seen, which is that they are standing in front of a spaceship and there is imminent danger from beneath. Uh, oh, dearie, who are these people? Is this... Mom, meet my new friends. These are Gilroth and... <laughs> and that lady. <laughs> nice. Hi, um, you must be a genius, and Dee Dee offers her hand, uh, and Lorenz kind of goes to shake it. Um, and uh, Are Lorenz and I still uh, talking about all the stuff we were saying? I'm just gonna like take a step back pretty dramatically, and I'll be like, I've been here before, and uh-huh. that's it. That's all you're gonna do? Well, that's all I'm gonna say. Well, um, as you're going to take a step back uniquely, You have a way of interposing yourself in danger, which is what you see, you know it's coming. Um, A uh, like sleek, almost like tiny looking robot with like several glowing red flaps comes bursting out of the junk pile and flies directly at Gilrod's Rolodex. What do you do? Um, I'm going, I intercept it. (laughs) I guess I'll intercept it. Remind us how it works. Um, I can use a reaction to reduce an attack by a d10. Okay. Which I think is this one. Right, we're gonna reduce it by seven. Okay. <sighs> there is a moment where DD is meeting this, you know, brilliant mind of the universe. Um, we've had a conversation, at least briefly, with Gilroth, and he's on the trail of something big. You were right before the game. Um, and as soon as Valar has this moment of, I gotta get ready for action, and you were ready for it in this case. You dive in front of the group and you try to block uh, seven, right? Blue seven damage? Yes. There's a yeah. massive explosion. Um, and before we can see what happens to Valar and just how bad it was, the uh, light that had been reflecting off the planet dims. And you all look up to see why that is the case. and coming from the direction of the planet, an ever-growing object, which has now fully eclipsed it, is an enormous, giant, mechanical horror, which is almost planet size at this point from a perspective basis, with enormous tentacles of robotic area. And you can see these like flaps opening up and multiple dozens of small robots are spewing out like locusts. And they begin to blot out the light itself and descend on the area that you're in. And that is where we'll start the finale next time. <laughs> Damn. Ah. <laughs> Hell yeah. How does the no, game get out of this one? <laughs> <laughs>